be cautious with one there, huh? It's okay. It happens. This is boxing, after all. It doesn't matter that you got knocked down. You can get him back in the next round. You did the right thing, though. You took your time and you got back up. Your father would be proud of you. That's what champions do, Andre. They get back up. Son, everything gonna do shit but count somebody out, which means you got to knock that cracker on his ass. Yeah. And you got one round. Knock the fucker on his ass. Knock the fucker on his ass. Congratulations on your victory, boy. You look real good out there. We're really fucking impressed. Welcome to the real world, baby! <laughs> Nighty night, bitch. I don't want to die in prison. Easy, easy now, son. Don't try to talk. Just take it easy now. You're lucky they left you breathing. I wasn't always this lucky. This Cuban is no amateur. He could have turned pro years ago. He's been the amateur champ for nine years. Nine years! Are you gonna let him make it ten? That's right. That's why we're here. To get the gold medal. Now go get him, kid! I wanna see 
What a challenge for Andre Bishop as round one is underway. Nobody over the course of the past nine years has been able to conquer Joel Savone. The Cuban has now been a nine-time champion of these World Amateur Games. Oh, he is stunned. He could go down. Boy, I know he's not in great shape, but all of a sudden he's doing a very good job of defending himself. You know, it's a funny thing. He's fighting on instincts, and sometimes that's a good thing. You don't want to get hurt to get there, but you want to get there. Right now he's doing things without thinking, naturally. He gets hit, but he gives it right back. Oh, you see him with the left of the head there? When a right-handed fighter faces a southpaw like we see here tonight, Teddy, that right jab hey, is right up against his jab. Let's go. That's absolutely right. And you know what? That's a great point because there lies maybe the greatest advantage for the southpaw because now the orthodox fighter doesn't feel comfortable using his jab. It doesn't land. It doesn't have the clearance that it usually has. And therefore, he doesn't use it and he hurts himself. Savone's giving his opponent headaches here now. He's throwing punches, but he's able to block them away. Comes with the right. Protecting his head well with his guard. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by Andre Bishop. That's a good job by Bishop offensively. Landing his combinations is a key to victory tonight. Last 10 seconds of this first round. Little head hunting with the left. Smart punch right there. The uppercut works. Very good productive round from Andre Bishop. He can build off of that. Yes, he can. And he will build off of it because you can see his confidence is mounting round by round. What did I tell you? Keep your hands up. You're throwing punches, but your hands. Joel Savone's off to a fresh start right now. That last round, he was really shook up. But he looks to be steady on his feet here. I don't think it's a stretch to say that Andre Bishop actually has a strong lead against Joel Savone. Wow, what an uppercut. Well, his opponent is opening up and coming forward, so I would think there are some opportunities that exist. Yeah, I think some counterpunching opportunities. Opportunities not on the front end, but on the back end. Halfway through round number two. How about that left hand? Really good work right there, landing the two punches in sequence by Andre Bishop. Nice strike after catching one by Andre Bishop. Andre Bishop's doing really well on the outside, utilizing his jab. Savone's left, landing well. You know, there's a lot to like with Andre Bishop, but right now, I don't like the way he looks in terms of his conditioning. Uh, he looks like he's slowing down a little bit. And you gotta wonder if it's a little mental, too. He got a little discouraged that his opponent is still there. Keeping him honest with a double jab up top. Keep moving. Good, strong uppercut. He comes right back with it after taking one. Wow, a big flush blow. The left hand by Andre Bishop. Good combination to the head. Scored well with that straight left. Oh, that's good stuff. Fire it right back with one of his own. Good work by Andre Bishop. Savone's inability to get away from his opponent's left hand is so evident. And it's going to stay that way if he doesn't change something. He needs to move the other direction, away from that point. This guy is going to win this fight if you don't take control, son. And round number three is underway. Very nice, consistent offensive attack from Andre Bishop against the nine-time World Amateur what? Games titleist. Doubles up the jab. That 
worked out really well. Throwing off the right hand after getting tagged like that. And you can see he wanted to do that as he holds Keep on moving. there. Keep moving. Savone's right hand working well that time. He scored well. Targeting that head with the combination punching. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. Good biting, snapping shot by Andre Bishop. Lands a big hook. And he engages in the clinch. Bishop's doing well here with that two-punch combination. Wow, Teddy, he's got some great hand speed there. That combination was an example. Yeah, it was. You know, not a lot of power, not a lot of pop with it, but boy, it catches your attention. And you know what? That kind of speed can intimidate a guy and keep his opponent maybe from moving his hands later on. A well-placed left hand up top. Clean shot, returning fire. Well done by Andre Bishop. Super two-punch combo by Andre Bishop. Keep your head Did you see that? Is this the end for Andre Bishop now? He has some questions to answer after being floored by that power punch. Just a dominating evening by Andre Bishop tonight. He is clearly up big on the scorecards. Trainer Gus Carissi has to know it. You can just see by the way he's dealing with him in between rounds. He knows it, and he can go two ways with it. Get the rounds out, work on things, carry him a little bit, or go close to show. All right, breathe. Deep breath. It's been that kind of night for Andre Bishop. Everything he does works. One more round to keep it that way. And as a trainer, you might remind him of that movie if he watched it, The Gambler. You know, where the guy thought that he went to bed and all his teams were winning at halftime. He woke up and found out that he owed a lot of money. And he said, what are you doing? And the guy said, Charlie, maybe no one told you. We don't pay off at halftime. This fight's not over. Keep your concentration. There were so many doubters of Andre Bishop coming into this fight, but right now he's silencing them as he is leading the way against Joel Savone. To the head he goes with a left hand. Joel Savone's got those earmuffs on, and he's got his hands tight against his body, but Teddy, still, some things are getting through. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of like driving a car, Joe, you know, and the, the weather's a little bad, and you say, I, I want to be safe here, I'm going to stop the car. You don't stop and park the car in the middle of the highway where cars are coming. I mean, he stopped right there in the middle of the highway. Cars are coming. You know, pull off somewhere. You know, get the heck out of there. Find the right parking spot. Great work offensively landing that combination by Andre Bishop. Jump on! Bishop's putting his punches together now. That's a nice combination. They trade shots. He comes back with a right hand. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. This is what they worked on in training camp. Another good combo by Andre Bishop. Oh, he is absolutely affected by that right hand. Never saw it coming. Worst kind of right hand you can catch. He should tie up here. From start to finish, it was utter domination. This was an easy one to score, Joe. As for that expected outcome, we send it up to the ring to hear from the judges. Fighter of the games. It's terrific, honestly. Being voted fighter of yeah, the game. Yeah, baby. It's an honor. Gold medal, baby. Yeah. 
Uh, this is my baby brother, my big baby brother, Rain. Hey, big baby bishop, I'm a fighter too, and one day I'm gonna be right where he is now. <laughs> like I was saying, it's a lot of talented boxers out here, and it's an honor hey, just being... Hey, bishop brothers are in the house, big baby bishop, what? It was a fabulous tournament. Truly exciting to watch. But even more exciting, McQueen Promotions is pleased to announce that we've just added Isaac Frost to our roster of boxing talent. Isaac, are you disappointed that Andre Bishop won Fighter of the Games? Disappointed? <laughs> I'm the heavyweight gold medalist. No one went the distance with me. Nobody here could ever go the distance with me. I am the best fighter at these games, period. Andre Bishop is a talented middleweight, but I, I think uh, Isaac makes a good point. Regardless, both these young men could have very bright futures in professional boxing. kid you got your father's power he certainly does his father hit like a heavyweight too <laughs> Gus <laughs> despite our differences I've always said you're one of the best trainers in the business I don't care what you say about me Queen <laughs> always nice to see you Megan always nice to see you too Gus I'm bringing my daughter into the business you know how good she is with fighters I want her to manage Andre. You're a great trainer. Why not concentrate on what you do best and let Megan and I concentrate on Andre's career? Thanks, but I think I can handle it. Isaac Frost will be fighting for a title within two years. I can do that for you, too. Thanks, but I can handle it. Did this old man ever get your father a title shot? He was on his way! The only way to the title is through me! Not if nobody can beat me. Oh, you think so? You don't know who you're fucking with. Dad! You've been listening to this stupid old man! Dad! You don't know who you're fucking with! I apologize. No, you have no reason to apologize. But your father, on the other hand, he chews fighters up and he spits them out. Gus, if we just... Megan, you're a good egg. But no way are we getting in bed with D.L. McQueen. I respect your decision. Lucius Palmer likes to run, but he'll get aggressive at the end of each round. He's good at stealing fights. Good luck, Andre. Thanks, Megan. She's right about Paula. She's a smart girl, that Megan. Ladies and gentlemen, 
Welcome, everybody. I'm Joe Tessitore, ringside with Teddy Atlas. We have a big night of boxing ahead. Plus, so many are looking forward to our undercard. It is the pro debut for the much-heralded Andre Bishop, the middleweight We'll be right, facing fellas. the crafty let's veteran, clean fight. Lucius Palmer. Touch him up and let's All go. from here, the Aragon Ballroom in Chicago right now. Everybody in this arena has been looking forward to this moment. The opening moments of Andre Bishop's pro career. So much hype, so many expectations. Stands opposite Lucius Palmer right now. Of course, all that hype built on the foundation of a gold medal at the World Amateur Games. up in front of us tonight Teddy a power puncher against a guy who's very well conditioned now early on in the fight what do you look for out of the power puncher to take his power you know it's not just power it's where you distribute that power if I'm in the corner of the power guy I want to distribute it downstairs to the body no better way to sap somebody's endurance mentally and physically than going downstairs Palmer's cut is on the cheek, and you can see that it's bothering him a bit right now. That's something we'll keep our eye on. Good headshot by Andre Bishop. That's a damaging blow. Good right hand by Andre Bishop. He needs more of that. Took a shot. Now he gives a left. Oh, good exchange there. Nice block by Palmer. Great movement to get away from those punches. <laughs> the other day when we were talking to Andre Bishop, he said to have success in this fight, I have to land combinations. He landed a good one there. Landing two jabs by Andre Bishop. Andre Bishop, boom, left hand comes home. So the first round of Andre Bishop's pro career is in the books, facing Lucius Palmer here. Teddy, after what we just saw, what can we expect? Well, we could expect that he's going to try to grab the last parts of the round. You saw that right there. You know, he'll fight three quarters of the round at one pace, and then all of a sudden flurry a little bit, flash a little bit at the end, try to grab the eyes of the judges. Don't fight Bishop's recuperative powers are proving to be very strong right here. This is the start to the round he wanted to have coming off a round where he was clearly damaged. Palmer's not firing off the big power punches. I gotta wonder why. Sometimes a guy is making a solid agreement in his mind that maybe if I don't hit him hard, he won't hit me hard back. He's not confident enough now to throw the punches without worrying about what had come back at him. Takes one, gives one. The right hand scores well. And now he's targeting upstairs. 90 seconds to go here in this round. Not much action as he just ties up. He took a shot, but he came back with a right hand of his own. right to the body. Bishop's combination punching working out well there. He landed three solid shots. And here we go again as Lucius Palmer tries to steal this round against Andre Bishop. Bishop's combination punching is working well here. Hey, hey, let's go! Andre Bishop getting back to basics landing that right hand. 
And we come to the end of round number two. Stay away from him. Keep throwing that jab. Listen, I'm not going to stand here and watch you take those shots. You understand me? Let's see some defense. And look. Another round, and if it keeps up with the rest of them, it'll be closely contested and hard to score. That is Boxing 101. A nice, crisp combination by Palmer. Here's one for you now, he says. Right back with the left hand. A headshot blocked. Solid right by Andre Bishop. Coming to the halfway point of this third round. Palmer's doing exactly what you should to be a strong defensive fighter. You gotta block those punches away. Now hugging on the inside. Well timed by Andre Bishop. He took a step back, landed the counter punch. Exactly what he wanted to do. Teddy has a hard working trainer. You must love what you're seeing here. And that's a fighter that looks just as strong, just as fresh as the first round. Yeah, this is a guy that knows he gets better as the fight goes on. But not only that, he understands what being a pro is. A pro isn't being good for four rounds, for six rounds. It's being good for the whole night. And that's exactly what he embraces. That was a good round for Andre Bishop. He just went out there and controlled everything. And he did it fundamentally, too. He used the jab. He set up the body attack. He did it like a good, solid fighter. Listen, I don't want to see you against the ropes. As soon as you feel ropes, move out. Keep your head. Final round of this fight for Andre Bishop in what has been a walk in the park with his supreme skill. And I'm sure the captain of the Titanic thought the same thing. And then, guess what? An iceberg. There's no left hooks coming. He should be all right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Lands flush with the two punch combo by Andre Bishop. Yeah. Keep moving. Gotta see these coming. What a devastating hook by Lucius Palmer. Time is of the essence now. We've reached the halfway point of this final round. Staying away from those headshots with his defense up top. Double jab right to the face. Last dance, last chance. Last minute of the last round. Palmer's opponent knows exactly what the game plan can be now. That counter punch landed with some success. Bishop's combination punching is just perfect there. Three punches landing. Palmer's got to be really careful here. That eye is an absolute mess. The cut is really bad. In fact, it could call for an end to this fight at any point. Well, Joe, the key is where the cut is. It's above the eye, and that means that the flow will go into the eye and, of course, impair the vision. That is what the referee is going to be looking at. So there's the final bell in a fight nobody thought they'd hear the final bell in.
Uh, it looked like Rock'em Sock'em Robots early on, but then all of a sudden, guess what? They started boxing. Friday Night Fight Studios, I'm Brian Kenny. Amateur gold medalist Andre Bishop taking his first steps as a pro this past weekend on the undercard at the Aragon Ballroom in Chicago. Bishop beating former welterweight contender Lucius Palmer en route to his first pro win. Now we've seen Palmer before here on ESPN. He's a veteran, he's no joke, and Bishop is now considered to be one of the best prospects boxing has seen in decades. By beating a fighter the caliber of Palmer in his pro debut, no less, he definitely made a statement. Andre Bishop clearly a fighter to watch. In other news, heavyweight prospect Isaac Frost scoring the second knockout of his pro career, beating another overmatched opponent on the undercard of a McQueen pay-per-view in Las Vegas. He's now 2-0 with two KOs. Again, there's Andre Bishop in the locker room, Teddy, with his longtime trainer, Gus Carisi. Of course, Gus was one who very early on tapped Andre Bishop as a fighter to watch. He said he was full of potential. Yes, he was a tremendous amateur. He won the World Championship Tournament. From the State Palace Theater here in New Orleans, we welcome you to our middleweight main event, a much-anticipated bout between Andre Bishop and Mike Walker. Hi, everybody. This is Joe right Tessitore. Right Glad you're with us alongside right. Teddy Atlas. We're at the Touch State Palace Theater in New Orleans, and it is the second pro fight in the career of the much-talked-about Andre Bishop. Coming off that victory against Lucius Palmer, now he takes on Mike Walker. Well, let's talk about what kind of a fight this could end up being, because as far as we see it, both guys are really committed to the cause here. They want each other. Hey, look, the old times would say these guys are harder to miss than they are to hit. So the early action here in this fight should reveal an edge. Bishop's got speed. He can move. Well, they say speed kills. He better just be careful. He doesn't have an accident. He doesn't get reckless with that speed. Really on the mark with that over-the-top shot with the right hand. That's a good job by Bishop offensively. Landing his combinations is a key to victory tonight. Good scoring shot. It was a straight right. Oh, and he's got something for him himself, and it's a left hand. Takes one, but gives one. Good work by Andre Bishop. That's a razor-sharp uppercut by Mike Walker. That is a strong uppercut there. Takes a step back, then the counterpunch by Andre Bishop. Very similar to what you see Floyd Mayweather do. You know, make a miss, pull that shoulder back, and then come right back with the counter. Lands the counter. Solid. He goes down. Oh, he may be close here. Did he survive the round? watching the professional development of the young unbeaten Andre Bishop Teddy you know the one thing I wonder when we watch a guy like Bishop in early on in his career like this is does he just have to win or does he constantly have to look impressive doing it well like Al Davis said the Oakland Raiders just win baby but if you want to be on television if you want people to actually buy tickets to come and see you in other words you want to make a lot of money you win and you better win excitingly let that right hand go. Walker's heading out there for this round, hoping that his legs are under him the way they need to be. He was dropped the last round. Well, he's going to find out. See, that's a good thing you just said, hoping. 
Well, he can't hope his legs are on them. He's got to find that out because if he goes out there and tries to use them and they're not, he's going to fall all over the place and the referee's going to stop him. His opponent's going to jump on him. So while the referee's counting, what he's got to do is test them out a little bit. So now you know how to go about surviving the round. Do you just stay on the ropes and move your head or do you use your bicycle? Boy, sharp two-punch combination by Andre Bishop. Bishop's defense is now serving him well. Nice job blocking that punch. Walker's inability to get away from his opponent's right hand is costing him. He continues to pull straight back, and he's still in the path of the punch. Good work with the uppercuts. Nice job there. Oh, a nice two-punch combo by Andre Bishop. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Andre Bishop. Bishop's landed a good, solid combination. He clinches when he gets to the inside. Move, move. Good work. He returns the favor with a right hand of his own. In and out, in and out. Nice hook by Walker. It's all right, keep moving. Andre Bishop not looking as fresh as when this fight started. I think he's slowing a bit, Teddy. But the bad news, that's not the worst news. The bad news is if we can see it, his opponent can see it, he can take advantage of it. And we come to the end of the round. Hey, whatever he misses, count it. Jack. Good action here tonight. Both guys bringing their best, and both guys meeting each other stride for stride, punch for punch. Tough fight to score here as we're back underway. Dismisses his opponent's headshot. Very accurate two-punch combo by Andre Bishop. Top with the right hand. Andre Bishop's doing a brilliant job with his head movement. He's employing top-notch defense right here, and it's frustrating his opponent. It is frustrating his opponent. His opponent needs to make an adjustment of thinking right now and understand what's there, not what's not there. We know that the head's not there, but what's there? The body. He needs to start going downstairs. That will freeze up some of that head movement. Place gutsy uppercut after being tagged. Use the ring, use the ring. Walker's mouth is cut, and you can see it's getting worse as things progress here. That could be a factor later on. Andre Bishop's putting forth that hard work he did in training camp there, landing a crisp combination. Mike Walker's rocked by a huge hook to the head. He's showing what a skilled fighter he is with the counter punches. Well, the old times used to say when you're calm in there, when you're controlling there, you can make him do what you want. He made him tie his shoelaces right there. It has been a very consistent night by Andre Bishop. He has built up a lead on the scorecards and nothing but good praise coming from trainer Gus Carissi. And he has such a cushion. Don't be shocked. It happens in this business, believe me. If his trainer doesn't tell him, you know what? Work with him a little bit. Don't get careless, but work on things. Carry him a little bit. Get some rounds. One more round and that's you just look at Andre Bishop's opponent, and you can almost see it in his face that he feels he has no chance. Bishop has dominated all night long as we're here in this final round. Now it's up to Bishop. He's got one more decision to make. Does he want to just go out on the stage and take his bows afterward, or does he want to bring the curtain down? Does he want to go after it? Good job on the two-punch combo by Andre Bishop. Watch that. 
makes that nice right angle on that hook upstairs. Hey, you got some of that too. Let's go. Bishop's landing a combination here. That's what he does when he's at his very best. Effective work with that flush overhand right. You see him holding on. Fine fundamentals, good counter punch. Eddie, I can only imagine what his opponent is thinking right now when he looks across the ring and sees a guy that still is full of energy. Well, I'll tell you what he's thinking. He's thinking, how come I'm feeling this way? Wow, what a right hand he just got. There it is! Oh, and now the real test. Can he get up after going down a second time? One, two, three, four, five. Walker's back up, but is he back in the fight? We're gonna find out in a second whether or not he moves his head. Now, if he just stands there straight and you're the trainer, you better get up on those steps and stop it. He's not right. Keep moving, keep moving. Let's move. Nice work on the right hand by Walker. Took a shot, now he gives a left. Bishop's the kind of boxer that wants to do just that. Find the target. Get the combination working, land both punches. Completely one-sided fight, at least that's the way we saw it. Yeah, I mean, if you saw it any other way, you'd have to put a warning out the next time these judges judge a fight, kind of like on a pack of cigarettes, you know. This could be hazardous to your health. I mean, these guys could be hazardous to your career if they scored any other way. Here's the official decision. I was on my way and baby brother was making his mark as an amateur. Gus had been our father's trainer. He All took right. us in after our parents died. Good. Keep that jab going. Ladies and gentlemen. At two and zero, oh, the young upstart Andre Bishop is getting a lot of attention, and he has hours tonight. I'm Joe Tessitore, alongside Teddy Atlas. We welcome you to this night of boxing here at the State Palace Theater in New Orleans. Bishop looks to start his pro career three and zero oh, as he takes on Wilfred Rosario. His adversary, Wilfred. Come on. Well, they've been waiting for this moment, and now they get it. Round one underway. Good job protecting himself. Teddy, we've seen both these guys before, and we have a feeling, we just kind of have the feeling that it could be one of those special nights. Yeah, because their styles, it suits up for one of those special nights. When we get a matchup like this with a power puncher against a real well-rounded balance fighter, are there times when you can see the power puncher almost begging the guy to make a brawl out of it, just trying anything, goading him on, trying to get that kind of a fight? Yeah, if you're the boxer, that's exactly what makes you smile because you know you're frustrating. Rosario's able to land a good, solid go. left hand. That was a left hand that came raining in on him. He did, and bang, and away he goes. And a big punch puts him down. but able to get up to his feet. Teddy, what should he be thinking about now? Well, right now, just surviving, but if he survives, then he better figure out why he was put on the floor. Able to dismiss that body. Oh, and there you go. Well, we know he survived earlier, but now he goes down for a second time. <laughs> Down he goes, 
Now up he gets. And if he wants to stay up, he's going to have to grab on. Kill a little time. The other day when we were talking to Andre Bishop, he said to have success in this fight, I have to land combinations. He landed a good one there. Rosario's right hand scores well. Good flush shot upstairs. Good. Andre Bishop's trainer, Gus Carisi, was quite open this week in saying, hey, I want to see excitement out of my fighter. I want him to deliver something to the fans. Yeah, he's thinking the same way my mentor, Costamato, used to think. That's why he invented the pick boo style. You know, it was effective. You kept your hands up, your elbows in. But it was also exciting. It would elicit excitement from the crowd. And that's what he wanted, to make sure that he created somebody that wanted people to come see him. He has a new round in front of him, but I don't know that there's any new hope. He's been down numerous times tonight, including that last round. You never know what a person's capable of when they're pushed to the brink, but this would be very un- And yet another big shot comes in. Unbelievable, just the barrage continues. He's knocked down again. But his desired heart is just as strong as it was before. Kept winning fights. I got people's attention. My father told me to find out what it'll take to make you change your mind about working with us. It's easy. Yeah? Yeah. All you gotta do is change Gus's mind. What's <laughs> that all? <laughs> You don't have a say in this? Sure I do. I say Gus is my manager. Then I guess I'm gonna have to change Gus's mind. Good luck with that. Thanks. Oh, by the way, I was by Keyshawn Hayes' camp the other day. His trainer thinks you're a sucker for the left hook. Keyshawn says he's dropping you with it. Yeah? Well, Keyshawn Hayes entitled his own opinion, is he? Sean Hayes be able to stop the Andre Bishop Express. Hi, everybody. I'm Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas. We welcome you to Atlantic City's Boardwalk Hall to see if Bishop can move his mark to 4 0 as he faces Keyshawn Hayes. His adversary by way of Newark, Keyshawn Hayes. Okay, guys, we went over the rules in the dressing room. Let's touch gloves. This guy's got a mean left hook. He's going to try and catch you with it early. Yeah, I heard about that. Here we go. Round number one, scheduled for six. Scores up top with a left. And now just wasting away some time with that clinch. Well, a lot of people were looking forward to this fight, and with very good reason. When you pit these two guys together, it should be a very good fight. You don't have to look for either one of them. They are right there to be found, and our fans love that. When a high stamina fighter is fighting another guy who's very well conditioned, is there any tendency for maybe some doubts to creep into his mind? Yeah, there always are. Because you always want to have the edge. Wow! Oh, he's got to beat the count of ten here. Bishop able to get back on his feet, but will he be steady on those feet? I think he will, and believe it or not, I think there may be an opportunity for him to catch his opponent coming in a little reckless. Goes up top with the right hand. You see
see the movement by Andre Bishop, and it's really paying off. Able to avoid that left hook of Hayes. Teddy, he did a smart thing right there. Just created enough space and then landed the counter punch. Looked like the will of the wisp, the old great Willie Peck. Made him miss, made him pay. Hayes is jacked by an uppercut. See, he's got his guard up really well that time, and it protects his head. The other day when we were talking to Andre Bishop, he said to have success in this fight, I have to land combinations. He landed a good one there. Up and down, side to side. Good right hand. He digs in with an uppercut after blocking that shot away. So now we see the first hurdle to overcome for the unbeaten Andre Bishop in his career. Keyshawn Hayes got to him in that first round with a solid left hook. Well, now he has to show that he can adjust on the fly. I would be telling him if I'm in the corner, move to your left, your own left side, away from that power punch that already hurt you. Listen to me. The best defense is to throw punches. You need to throw more punches, not to keep them away. A new round underway here. Andre Bishop's hoping that he doesn't make a defensive flaw like he did in the last round. That cost him a knockdown. Oh, that's got to hurt. How about that? He goes from being the victim to handing out the punishment. One, two, three, four, five. He went down from a big shot. Now he's got to have some big guts to move along. You're going to find out exactly what he's made of. That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the work by Andre Bishop. A solid true uppercut by Hayes. Solid uppercut. Hayes' eye is really a mess now due to that cut. Now, if you're his opponent, it's got to be the primary target, I assume. You know, and that's the key word, assume. And a lot of people, a lot of fans do assume that, that you start aiming at that bullseye, so to speak. But I don't believe in that, because now all of a sudden you throw yourself off a little bit. You start pitching punches to that exact spot instead of just fighting your fight, instead of just letting the jab go in a general direction of the head set up the other punches. You don't want to get carried away for looking to pinpoint that exact spot. Able to get away from that headshot with the block. Blocks a shot and then lands an uppercut of his own. Andre Bishop's probably thinking to himself that he found an early answer. The counter punch doing damage here. And his opponent's thinking, what the heck am I doing? Am I shadow boxing? Because I'm not finding nothing. But I tell you, if I am shadow boxing, that shadow, it has a little bit of a punch. It's hitting me back. Andre Bishop just dominating that last round, scoring the knockdown. They don't want to get ahead of themselves, though, Teddy. I know Gus Carissi is always cautious when it comes to any moment in a fight, whether you're up or down. Oh, well, he's a pro. He's a real teacher. And he knows that it can turn around real quick. You get careless, all of a sudden your opponent can put you where you had him. So he's going to make sure you go out there, you do it the right way. Hayes has got to hope that these 60 seconds are going to pay off for him here. Went down hard in that last round. He's got to gather himself because you know his opponent's going to come right after him when that bell rings. Right, Scored well up top. Andre Bishop's defense now dazzling as Hayes is having trouble landing that left hook. Good shot to the head with that right hand. What an excellent two-punch combo by Andre Bishop. Here's a moment here as you see the step-back counterpunch where you realize this is the sweet science, not just some raw savagery swinging out there. Look at the little subtleties here, Joe. What he does is he forces them into a position to stop the punch. 
And then when he stops, steps back, makes a miss, and comes right back. Bishop's not throwing the power punches, Teddy. What would you say to him? Well, first of all, I would say to him, what do you think, that he's going to make a deal with you? If you don't hit him hard, he won't hit you hard? No, no, it doesn't work like that, my friend. He's going to get confidence now. He's going to take advantage of this. Look at that combination by Andre Bishop. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by Hayes. And he's holding. And yet another right hand land. Still not moving on Move! Move! And Bishop is stunned. He just took a huge punch. Oh, he's hurt right there. He is hurt. You know, his opponent's doing a good job of just being patient now and looking for that one good shot. Well, you know, the landscape of this business, the history of this business is littered with guys that they've had someone hurt, they get a little careless, they get caught. He better watch out that he doesn't get put on that landscape. Three minutes gone by in this round. Good? Okay, Andre. We gotta get busy now. We have to keep working out there. Let's go to work out. So with the start of this round, we've reached the halfway point. Be interesting to see what we're in store for down the stretch of this fight. Andre Bishop getting to his opponent's head. Nice job by Bishop with the power shot. Oh, uh, you see him with the left of the head there? Nice strike after catching one by Andre Bishop. In a strange way, now it could create an offensive opportunity. Hayes' opponent is drawn to that cut he opened up, but it now could force him to be reckless coming in. Uh, you're exactly right, Joe. You know, if you're the one cut, you have a job to do. You have a responsibility. You know, don't let that throw you off. You know, stay to your game plan. But if you cause the cut, you have something that's a responsibility. Don't get over anxious, like you just said. Don't just start going for broke. And that's exactly what he's doing. A shooting right hand by Andre Bishop. A great train uppercut by Hayes. a well-scored left hand by Hayes. Oh, that's good stuff. Fire it right back with one of his own. Good work by Andre Bishop. It's hard to believe that at this late stage of the fight, both men are able to give as much as they are giving. This is how you find out where somebody is brilliant. This is where you find out where somebody is special and does extraordinary things by pushing him to a difficult place. Andre Bishop, beautiful head movement, good lateral movement, getting out of the way of that dangerous left hook of Hayes. Keep circling. Don't stand in front of him. Round number five has seemingly in control and now maybe out of control after getting hit there. But what you just said, Joe, that is really what's the enemy of his right now is nothing was coming at him. He was winning. Look at that. And for the second time tonight, he goes down. Four and zero never looks so good. A knockout win, Andre Bishop over Keyshawn Hayes. Bishop. Here in our Friday Night Fight studios, we have an update on the career of rising star Andre Bishop. And while he certainly hasn't taken an easy road so far in his career, Bishop is poised to have his coming out party against top 15 middleweight contender Ricardo Alvarez, something virtually unheard of for a prospect with so few pro fights. What's more, the fight will take place in Alvarez's hometown of Chicago, although we can't expect a few fans to make the trip from Philly. What can I do for you, Mr. McQueen? Andre, I have to tell you something about your father. 
Before he died, he and I agreed to a deal. I was going to get him a title shot and let Gus stay on as his manager. Sadly, he never got a chance to tell Gus about it. I'll give you the same deal. Keep Gus as your trainer and manager. I'll promote your fights. Megan's young. She's got other fighters. And think about your brother. What about my brother? Raymond's got talent. Not your kind of talent, but... <laughs> He's big. You see how big he is? He could be heavyweight champ someday. Isaac Frost looks unbeatable now, but who knows? Be smart, Andre. Let me take you and Raymond to the top. Look, Mr. McQueen, I don't appreciate you talking about my father or trying to get me to go behind Gus's back. Stay away from my brother and stay away from me. Are we clear? You have no idea who you're fucking with, kid. Oh, good luck with Alvarez. But I got a feeling it's not going to be your night. Ladies and gentlemen. Good evening, everybody. Joe Aragon Tessitore and Teddy Atlas welcoming you to the Aragon Ballroom the here in Chicago, Chicago, Illinois, for a much anticipated main event. The stage is set. Now the spotlight falls on the unbeaten, okay, hot rising we over prospect the the Andre room. Bishop Let's touch as he takes his first major step up in facing middleweight contender Ricardo oh, Alvarez. Yes, A stabbing right hand by Andre Bishop. And now you see the southpaw pulling the trigger with the straight left. Clean shot, returning fire. Well done by Andre Bishop. Little head hunting with the left. Bishop's right hand did a nice job that time. That worked well for him. That's a good job by Bishop offensively. Landing his combinations is a key to victory tonight. Takes one, but gives one. Good work by Andre Bishop. Teddy, I don't think there's any doubt about it in the matchup that we're seeing here tonight. It's clear who has the superior hand speed. What does the other guy need to do? He needs to let the faster guy shadow box. Step out of range where he can't use his speed. Hands up! Hands up! Good left hand able to land. What a great job! He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Andre Bishop. He digs into the body again. Stay in one spot. He scores with the left. Uppercut. Uppercut. The combo lands upstairs. Circle. Good exchange. Circle. He fires back. Keeps his hands up defensively, protecting the head. Oh, that was crafty. The double uppercut by Andre Bishop. Move, move. Headshot lands was a hook. He scored well after being hit himself. We come to the kick. The judges ain't even watching this fight. I can see it in their eyes. McQueen fucked us. We're not winning any decisions tonight. Means you gotta knock this guy on the canvas. Understand? Knock him on his ass. Here we go. Round two is underway.
Well, that was his intention, and that's what he's doing. Not engaging in the fight, but clinching. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. Targeting that straight left hand. That's a good job by Bishop offensively. Landing his combinations is a key to victory tonight. And he ties up on the inside. Oh, he took some damage, but he gave some back with the right hand. Really good work right there, landing the two punches in sequence by Andre Bishop. Andre hey, Bishop can do up. so much there. He used it well that time. You need to keep nice that strike move. after catching one by Andre Bishop. I think Bishop scored really well there. He just damaged his opponent with that power shot upstairs. Well played, straight right hand. Nice work on the outside. Fit up. Good action throughout. We'll see if it keeps up in this round. What has been a very even fight. Well, I don't know if he's hip to the idea of becoming a counter puncher, but I get the sense you'd agree with it. Yeah, definitely. I mean, he's got the perfect platform, the perfect form for it. The guy's walking in right now, not moving his head much. He can time him, he can counter him. Nice work. Nice work. Damn, damn. Oh, a good right hand by Andre Bishop. Andre Bishop's combination punching is working well here. Commits to the overhand right, and it serves him well. Oh, what a power punch he was able to land there. Joe, that's what you call setting up a trap. Not a mouse trap, but a punch trap. Step back a little bit, invited him in, bang. Banking away a body shot with the right hand. He's tired, he's tired. Keep moving around the right. Accurate with a straight left. There's a good right hand. Nice quick jabs by Andre Bishop. He's losing this fight, and I think it's easy to see why. He's getting hit by that Let's left hand far too much. Well, the most elementary thing, the first thing you're taught in boxing is use your left hand. The second thing, get away from it. I guess he never learned that second thing. Working his way on the outside and working well, he just stunned his opponent. And his opponent got caught, why? Because he was standing in front, not doing nothing. If you're not gonna work, get out of range. Don't let your opponent work, okay? Punch combo by Andre Bishop. He gives as well as he takes. You saw it on that exchange. Great work offensively landing that combination by Andre Bishop. Bishop's ability to just get to his opponent before his opponent gets to him. Showcase there, his hand speed is very good. Yeah, it is, Joe. You know, it speaks to one of those old sayings that the trainers used to say, just get off first. That's what he's doing right now. He's getting nice. off first. Good, strong combo. A well-placed left hand up top. Keep moving. Solid right by Andre Bishop. 
Flush shot. The left hand Time came shot. in. Scored well up top. Oh, he's hurt right there. He is hurt. So in this kind of situation, it's kind of... Big shot. That was a big shot that floored him. And it's a big shot that may end him right here. That looked like the great pitch of Great Maddox. The sinker ball. Boy, it went down quick. Eleven and zero. We were ready to make a move. My future looked bright. Nice place. The gym's closed, fellas. We didn't come here to work out. What's going on? We came to have a little talk. I thought they were McQueen's thugs, but they were cops. Dirty cops on McQueen's payroll. Wrong fucking move, kid. Wrong fucking move. Good evening, everyone. I'm Brian Kenny, and welcome to Friday Night Fights here on ESPN. Before we get into tonight's action, some shocking news this week involving middleweight prospect and amateur gold medalist Andre Bishop. Reports are coming in that Bishop has been arrested for allegedly carrying an unlicensed firearm and assaulting two police officers. Details remain spotty, but the word is there was an altercation in the late hours of the evening between Bishop and the police at Carisi's Boxing Club, the gym where Bishop trains. The word of two decorated police officers was all it took. My dreams, my freedom, everything was taken from me. Nobody could help me. I had to help myself. I couldn't let this place beat me. I did what I had to do. I fought. Those crackers been talking so much about kicking your ass, they think they can take you one-on-one. -on -one. I had to agree to some conditions, though. Bare knuckles. No refs, no rounds. You fight until somebody quits. Or can't get up. I like those conditions. And let's go get it on. Remember now, the professional boxing shit ain't gonna help you here. You got to knock this motherfucker out. Yeah. 
since I hear about you signing with DL McQueen. <laughs> no way, Adrian. Yo, Ms. McQueen told me Pop was gonna do the same thing. And you believe that? I believe this. <laughs> Yo, Mr. McQueen has done a lot for me. And Dre, I'm gonna be smart. I'm gonna let him keep doing what he's doing. Raymond, you'd be smart to stay away from McQueen, man. I always wanted you I to- I ain't you, Dre. I'm me. I'm a heavyweight, Mr. McQueen. Mr. McQueen believes I can be the champ. The champ. I'm going for it, brother. I gotta do what's best for me. How's Gus taking him? I had to let Gus go. Raymond, no! I didn't have no choice, Dre. Gus can't give me a shot at the title. Mr. McQueen can. Dad realized that too late and I can't make that same mistake. I gotta do what's best for me and not what's best for Gus. Dre. Come on, man, you understand. It's like that. It's like that, Dre. It's like that. Gus retired from boxing. Isaac Frost became heavyweight champion. Baby brother was fulfilling his dream. And here, it's the same old business. Time to skin another head.
beat, hit a beat. Hey, motherfucker. This shit isn't finished. What the hell are you talking about? I'm ready to fight right now. Get your boy ready. Whoa, whoa, whoa. He just had a fight, he ain't had time to rest. I don't fucking care, Ace. He's gonna fight me right now, or there's gonna be serious problems. Okay? Fuck it. Let's go. <laughs> I served my full sentence. I lost my youth. I lost my career. I lost my dream. Now what? Baby brother got me a job as an assistant trainer. Listen for the bell, man. Relax, Potter boy. Very lucky for an ex-con to have a job. That's what I like to see. A brother taking care of his brother. Andre, welcome back. Hey, Mr. McQueen. Raymond? Andre, you remember Mr. Franco. Andre. Mr. Franco has retired from the force. Works for me now. Must be a big change for you. Hope you learned to stay out of trouble. Now he's learned his lesson. Andre. I'm sorry the way things worked out for you. But I've been taking good care of Raymond while you were away. We can't afford distractions. I hope we can count on you to help your brother. It was good just to be back in the gym. It was good to see baby brother doing his thing. It was good to be back in the gym. Put your weight in your lead foot. Turn your hips more. It'll increase your power. There you go. Thanks for the advice. This gym's got a reputation. I can't have people looking in here seeing you slap boxing. <laughs> Jokes, huh? Nice. I was starting to think you didn't like me. Yeah, well. Being on the outside takes some getting used to. I guess I'm still adjusting. I like you just fine, Megan. Always have. I never liked Mason Brooks. What the fuck was that, Brooks? You're supposed to be sparring. Oh, fuck you, has been. This shit wasn't low. Fuck you know about it anyway. You ain't even a fighter no more. Why don't you go clean some toilets or something? Whatever. Yeah, that's right, bitch. Go clean them toilets. <laughs> yeah, I left something in there for you, too. Yo, Brooks, chill out. Oh, what? You wanna do something about it? Get out of the ring, Raymond. Dre, what, what you doing? Raymond, get out of the ring.
I heard you beat up one of my heavyweights. Look, I'm sorry. All right, we, we were we were sparring. I didn't want to... Mason Brooks is an asshole. He needed that beat down. I like him better already. In that case, I'm happy to help Mason become a better person. Mason's a ranked heavyweight. You whipped a ranked heavyweight. You're still in great shape, Andre. I can get you work as a sparring partner. Are you serious? Antoine Barr's camp starts in two weeks.
see me? Have a seat. You sparred with two heavyweights, and you whipped both their asses. Andre, you could make a comeback. And how am I gonna do that? With my help? I still wanna be your manager, Andre. How does your father feel about that? I no longer work for DL. We have philosophical differences. But I can get you a license, and I can get you a fight. If you want to fight. Of course he wants to fight. It's in his blood, Gus. <laughs> I'm coming out of retirement too, kid. <laughs> Told you I'd change his mind. <laughs> Jailhouse boxing makes you tough. But it ain't professional. You know that, kid. You're a heavyweight now. Heavyweight is a different world than middleweight. I don't want you to embarrass yourself, so look, we're gonna start with a couple of low-key fights in Mexico. These guys are durable, and they will be coming to fight. Good evening, everybody. Glad you've made the decision to be with us. Alongside Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. We're glad to be bringing you action and welcoming you to the Mexico City Plaza here in Mexico City for our main event of the evening. Six rounds of heavyweight action. This should be a really good matchup here tonight. All that energy that we saw it almost boiled over at the weigh-in yesterday. Now it gets to explode here in the ring. We went over the rules in the dressing room. Let's have a good, clean fight. Touch them up. Everybody's been waiting for these two to meet up. Now they do, as round one is underway. Chavez is not just loading up. He's landing combination punches like he did right there. Well, it is what it is, what we have in front of us. What is this, one of those where you warn our viewers, don't go get a sandwich? Well, just don't go to the refrigerator for anything. You're not going to have time to get back. Bishop's putting forth that hard work he did in training camp there, landing a crisp combination. Flush right hand to the body. Teddy, typically in a fight like this, when we have a power puncher against a real high stamina, well-conditioned fighter, what adjustments do you usually see to a Well, one of the adjustments is on the side of the power puncher. He may find out that he better stop looking for home runs, stop swinging for the fences. He may have to adjust his game where he's using the jab That's more, okay, looking for go. singles and doubles, not just that big one over the fence. Blocks away that headshot. That's a good job by Bishop offensively. Landing his combination is the key to victory tonight. A little head hunting right back to it. Able to block that away. It was targeted for his head. Bishop scoring with that right hand. He's committed to the combination punching now. It's working out well up top. He's had so much success throughout his career as Andre Bishop, and the right hand's been a big part of it. Good flush shot upstairs. That right hand over the top, Lance Flush. Now sending more than one at him now, the combo to the head. Very good, productive round from Andre Bishop. He can build off of that. Yes, he can, and he will build off of it because you can see his confidence is mounting round by round. Here we go. Round two is underway. Chavez is on the bad end of an uppercut. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Able to land another power shot early on here, Teddy. Does he have to worry about trying to keep up this pace? No, I don't think so. If he keeps at this pace, he's not going to be around to worry. Chavez is hurt by a superb hook to the head. Teddy, you got to like this because he's using that jab the way you like him to. Especially when you're being aggressive. You walk in, you want to walk in where the guy can't see you coming. That jab blinds your opponent. 
Punches and bunches. Combination up top. Zones in on that overhand right. And now he's targeting upstairs. He got hit. Oh, now the uppercut. Scores with the combo to the head. Boxing 101, a nice, crisp combination by Andre Bishop. Pulls the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. What an uppercut by Antonio Chavez. Chavez has got to be really careful here, Teddy. That eye has gotten to a point where this fight could be stopped at any time. Well, the key is that it's above the eye, so of course it's impairing the vision. The blood, when it trickles down, he can't see. And that's what the referee is going to be looking for. Then throw. Throw with everything when you... Back to live action now in what has been a closely contested fight. One of those fights that somebody is still waiting to break through and be a difference maker in. Oh, that's good stuff. Fire it right back with one of his own. Good work by Antonio Chavez. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. He gets off with a combination up top. Bishop's hand speed is the difference here. I mean, that's what that combination was all about. Yeah, purely speed. He just got off faster, sooner. I like the way he went up top that time with the hook. Very accurate with the overhand right. Chavez is in a tough spot right here. He's going to be swallowing blood. You can see blood coming from his mouth, and that can really cut his wind. The Lance flush with the two-punch combo by Andre Bishop. He returns the favor with an uppercut. Antonio Chavez is now feeling the after effects of being rocked by a huge hook to the head. I like how he doubles up that jab by Andre Bishop. Body shot, left hand. What impact from that uppercut by Antonio Chavez. Boy, sharp two-punch combination by Andre Bishop. Teddy, I'll tell you what I like out of that round from Andre Bishop. It's a building block. He has a lot to look forward to the rest of this fight now. Yeah, it's confidence. It gives him a little momentum. And it also shows you his amateur background. I mean, he showed you that he can do things inside and outside. Hundreds of amateur fights will teach you that. This guy is beating you. If you throw three or four punches in a row... And with the start of this round, the halfway point of this fight. Bishop's is being smart on the outside. I know it's good to throw a lot of punches, but it's better to do what we're seeing out of him right now. And that's land when you throw. He's making everything count. He's putting everything out there for a purpose. Placing punches beautifully. Andre Bishop not looking as fresh as when this fight started. I think he's slowing a bit, Teddy. But the bad news, that's not the worst news. The bad news is if he can see it, his opponent can see it, he can take advantage of it. Let's see if Bishop can survive. Oh, a big shot comes home for him. He was standing up to it, but now he goes down for the first time. Bishop able to get back on his feet, but will he be steady on those feet? I think he will, and believe it or not, I think there may be an opportunity for him to catch his opponent coming in a little reckless. 
Cardillo. Chavez is hoping to recover right here. The way to do it, he feels to tie up. Yeah, it's not about machuism right now. It's about getting past this point, surviving, and then having a chance later on to get back to win the fight. Oh, a nice two-punch combo by Andre Bishop. is once again the target of a hook. Teddy, we know what the problem is, is getting hit by left hands. Offer up the solution. Well, Joe, there's three lines of defense. He's your blocking punches, you're moving your head, or you're using his leg. The problem, he's not using any of those. Combination to the head. And now targeting his opponent with the overhand right. He plunged him the body. Cut that opened up earlier. It is progressively becoming worse. Trainer Gus Carissi is just trying to give his fighter a chance at this point. Yeah, they haven't stopped the bleeding. Now, you could be critical of the cut, man, that it's still flowing from that cut, but certain guys bleed more than others. They just do. And Bishop is one of those guys. Start of a new round, and I give credit to his corner. Bishop's quartermen did a really good job after a round in which their fighter was knocked down of just being calm and cool. The way they're supposed to be. You know, we always talk about the fighter having to be calm and the experience that a fighter has. Well, that corner has plenty of experience. They just showed it. What a big shot. He is not meant for life on the outside there, and he just paid the price. He goes down. Because he didn't make his mind up. If you're not going to work out in front, Get to a distance where you're safe. He stood there at a bad distance. No man's land. To the head he goes with a left hand. And now just wasting everybody's time holding on. Back and forth they go, trading blows halfway through this round. No, I've been to smokers boards where you can eat all you want. You can just keep going back to that buffet line. Well, this is where you get all the punches you could ever ask for. Andre Bishop's landing a combination here. That's what he does when he's at his very best. Antonio Chavez is right in the way of that hook to the head. Oh, that had a hurt. Targeting upstairs. Combo lands. Chavez is almost out of it there. Did you see that? Can he get up from this? He's done it before, but can he get up from a second time down? Brian Kenny back here on Friday Night Fights. Big pay-per-view this past weekend. Isaac Frost defending his heavyweight title again, stopping Reggie Stewart in two rounds for his 14th successful title defense. Promoter D.L. McQueen has begun touting Frost as one of, if not the greatest champions of all time. That seems a bit premature, but there's no arguing with Frost's record. Undefeated, all his wins coming by knockout. Quite a feat. In other news, can former middleweight contender Andre Bishop make a comeback after spending more than five years in prison? And can he do it as a heavyweight? It's one of the more fascinating stories in sports. We'll, of course, have the latest for you here on Friday Night Fights. Headlining our fight card here at the Mexico City Plaza in the heart of Mexico City. Good evening, everybody. I'm Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas. What a curious path it's been in the career of Andre Bishop, Remember, the former guys, middleweight we'll prospect, and now time. fighting his second fight as fight. a heavyweight. Touch he will do so tonight against Raul Castillo. 
So round one is underway between Bishop and Castillo. We'll give you something to look for, at least what we've been hearing out of the Bishop camp, is that they're very conscious of the body punching of Castillo. So look for Bishop to try to defend that well. We expect a high work rate among these two fighters. Now, do you want to see that same work rate throughout the whole fight? Do you, or is that your expectation? I'd love to because we'd be having a good time and our fans, they're going to enjoy it. You remember when Andre Bishop was a good, hard-charging middleweight prospect? He was a great combination puncher. That's what he's doing now as a heavyweight here. Each man able to land an uppercut. That's a good job by Bishop offensively. Landing his combinations is a key to victory tonight. Very nice work with the double jab up top. There's that overhand right. Protecting his head well with his guard. This is typical Raul Castillo scoring well to the body. Andre Bishop is hurting there. Castillo's got a cut. It looks like it's below the eye on the cheek, but it's something that needs to be monitored. Double jab by Andre Bishop. Good clean shot, returning fire. Well done by Raul Castillo. Here we go. Round two is underway. Oh, and the right hand comes into play by Andre Bishop. Bishop's cheek is cut, and you can see it's opening up now. Boy, that could be a factor later on. Takes one, but gives one. Good work by Castillo. Now that is fighting right there, and smart fighting. Landing all four punches. Bishop's hand speed right now, the difference with what we just saw, able to land that combination. Yeah, he's probably going to need a little bit more down the road, but right now, that's got him in front. Honest with a double jab up top. Now a well-placed hook to the head. You see what happens when he commits to the uppercut. Look at that. Great work there. A crushing two-punch combo by Andre Bishop. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Castillo. Right hand over the top, very accurate with it. Now hugging on the inside. Doubles up the jab. I think Bishop scored really well there. He just damaged his opponent with that power shot upstairs. Good two punch combo by Andre Bishop. Flush right hand to the head. There's the hook by Andre Bishop. That was well scored. Keep moving. Got to see these come. You gave them. Another round, and if it keeps up with the rest of them, it'll be closely contested and hard to score. That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the work by Andre Bishop. Really good work right there, landing the two punches in sequence by Andre Bishop. Well, his opponent is opening up and coming forward, so I would think there are some opportunities that exist. Yeah, I think some counter-punching opportunities. Again, well-placed, well-timed combo up top. That's nice work by Bishop there, landing the left hand. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by Andre Bishop. 
Now he's putting his punches together. The combination upstairs. Ninety seconds to go here in this round. Bishop showing that walking stick right now, utilizing the jab. Double jab right to the face. And he comes with the straight right hand. And now he's targeting upstairs. Must be the punch of the day. Both guys bringing home uppercuts. Nice work with the combination by Andre Bishop. Nice strike after catching one by Andre Bishop. Castillo's absorbing a hook. Carissi's known for really pushing Andre Bishop very hard during training camp. But right now, we're not seeing the results. He seems to be fading a bit. Yeah, you start to wonder whether or not Andre Bishop has gotten a little full of himself, you know, breaking the rules a little bit, maybe getting a little cocky. And maybe, you know, Gus sees him in the gym, but he doesn't see him 24-7. Maybe Andre not living the right way. Commits to the straight right. Good left hand by Andre Bishop. Andre Bishop's jab continues to carry the day. He's wanted it, he's got it. Double jab by Andre Bishop. Cover up, cover up. Oh, that's good stuff. Fire it right back with one of his own. Good work by Castillo. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Really on the mark with that over-the-top shot with the right hand. Hey. Andre Bishop's nice landing a combination here. That's what he does when he's at his very best. 90 seconds to go in round number four. He nearly lifted him off the ground. What an uppercut by Andre Bishop. Nice work, the left hand to the head. Andre Bishop's the kind of boxer that wants to do just that. Find the target, get the combination working, land both punches. Castillo's got a cut, we can see that he's bleeding from his mouth. That can be a real problem. People don't realize it, but that can be a big, big problem. Effective work. And yet another big shot comes in. He just went down. The in-fighter went out. And now he went down. Hey, it's okay to go out, but go out the side door. He went out the front door, and as you said, maybe he's paying the ultimate price. He gets up after that punch put him down on the canvas. Now he needs to get on that bicycle and stay away from this guy. Wow, a big punch just crashes home on Andre Bishop. The only good thing is he's been here before. With all that amateur experience, he has been hurt before. He knows how to behave. And that's the end of round four. Round number five has arrived. Super two-punch combo by Andre Bishop. Good clean shot, returning fire. Well done by Andre Bishop. And now he's targeting upstairs. Takes one, but gets one. Good work by Andre Bishop. Great work offensively landing that combination by Andre Bishop. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Andre Bishop. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. He clinches when he gets to the inside. Halfway into round number five here. Keep moving. Keep moving. Castillo showing us some of those survival tactics that he's picked up as a pro. Was knocked down earlier, and now he's in survival mode. And that's exactly where he needs to be if he wants to get to another round, and if he wants to be able to turn it around, get offensive later. A little double jab to the head. 
At this point, Andre Bishop can just put it into cruise control. Yeah, they have that choice. They can go into the prevent defense and coast home, or they know the business, and Gus knows the business. They want to be an attraction. We could say, go out there and finish. Make people talk about you when they're leaving this arena. And now another left. Nice work with the overhand right. Castillo's left, working well that time. Inside. Yeah, inside. A headshot blocked. That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the work by Andre Bishop. That is Boxing 101. A nice, crisp combination by Andre Bishop. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by Andre Bishop. Staying away from those headshots with his defense up top. A stinging uppercut by Andre Bishop. Look at the mess in the ring right now. Castillo's cut is just painting himself. Yeah, it's a good thing at least we think that judges are not influenced by the way a fighter looks. Because if they were, no rounds are going in his favor. You see him holding on. Keep moving. Keep moving. Last 10 seconds of the fight. A consistently strong performance tonight. You don't have to be a calculus major to score this one. Just put those 10 nines together. And our ring announcer is standing by with the official decision. Mexico City was a big success. People are talking about Andre Bishop again. <sighs> Welcome back. It feels good to be back. Thanks, Megan, for everything. I know Franco and my father set you up. I can't prove it, but I know it. You wouldn't do something like that. I know what kind of man you are. I know what kind of man my father is. You know, it doesn't even matter anymore. I did the time. It matters to me, Andre. So what now? We gotta get you cleaned up. <laughs> well, 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 will you look at this? Huh? You don't look like a bum no more. Thanks, Gus. Hey, thank me later. Let's get to work. Come on. Come on. Nice work, Megan. You too, Gus. Well, this could be a major hurdle to overcome for Andre Bishop. Look at this replay. I believe this is where he hurts that right hand. All right, kid, how you doing? My right hands, bro. Are you sure? Oh, yeah. What do you want to do? He's my left. <laughs> it's all about heart, kid. It's all about heart. And a good stiff left jab.
this will be very interesting to see if Andre Bishop is favoring that right hand because our video evidence clearly shows that he hurt that right hand. But the hand that you use probably 80, 90% of the time is the left hand. That's the lead hand, that's the setup hand. That's the jamming hand. His corner needs to tell him now there's nothing wrong with that hand. Go out there and behave like a fighter. Go out there and win the fight. And Andre Bishop now appears reluctant to throw that right hand. Good job with another left hand. You remember when Andre Bishop was a good, hard-charging middleweight prospect? He was a great combination puncher. That's what he's doing now as a heavyweight here. Really solid left hand by Andre Bishop. That's exactly what his corner wants him to do. Nice strike after catching one by Andre Bishop. Nice block by Johnson. And just grabbing onto his opponent. The other day when we were talking to Andre Bishop, he said to have success in this fight, I have to land combinations. He landed a good one there. And there's the left hand working well for him again. Andre Bishop is just going to do further damage by throwing the right hand the way he just did. Bishop's able to land a nice, clean left hand. That's a big uppercut that just crashed home. Two good jabs by Andre Bishop. Little head knocking with that right hand. I like that step back right there. Just enough to be out of danger, but still close enough to then land the counter punch. Well, that's what happens when you have that kind of experience. You're calm enough to know that range. Know where the beginning of the punch and the end of the punch is. Johnson's jab doing wonders again. Teddy, what's it done for him in this fight? Well, it's set up everything. I mean, start with the defense. He's kept his opponent defensive. He's kept him to the point where he's a... You know, he's not so aggressive anymore. And also, it set up his power shot. Oh, that's good stuff. Fire it right back with one of his own. Good work by Andre Bishop. Get close to him. <gasps> you need to block more. If Meldrick Johnson can't beat this version of Andre Bishop, what does that say? because there's no doubt about it, Bishop has hurt that right hand. He's winning this fight with just his lead hand. In and out, in and out. Johnson's feeling the impact of that powerful hook. Digs in with a good solid uppercut after taking a shot. Lands flush with the combination upstairs. to that uppercut. Nice work by Meldrick Johnson. Solid left hand to the head. Hooks to the head. Good clean shot returning fire. Well done by Meldrick Johnson. And now just wasting away some time with that clinch. Resourceful hook by Andre Bishop. Very good, steady double jab there. Bishop's not firing off the big power punches. I gotta wonder why. Sometimes a guy is making a solid agreement in his mind that maybe if I don't hit him hard, he won't hit me hard back. He's not confident enough now to throw the punches without... Big, big shot he just scored with. Is this the end for Andre Bishop now? He has some questions to answer after being floored by that power punch. Now this is like a microcosm of his life. He's been down outside the ring before and has gotten up too. And that will serve him because he has survived very difficult things outside the ring. And he is thinking of that right now, believe me. He's 
committed to that left hand, and it's working out. Solid, accurate shot that hooked by Andre Bishop. Doing great. Andre Bishop's doing a poor job. There's no other way to really say it. I mean, he's sitting there trying to stay committed to being a counterpuncher, but in the meantime, the fight is getting away from him in a big way. Yeah, he needs a plan B right now. Relax, you know, he came relax. in with plan A, Joe, but plan B is what he needs. He has to find another way to create offense. He's not going to be able to do a countering on the back end. Johnson's impressing the judges and himself with that right hand. Right. Good job. It was sudden, it was fast, it was direct by Johnson. He comes back with the left hand again. See how he targets that hook? Keep it going. There's another left hand from him, and he's holding. Downstairs with a right hand. A flush hook scores well for him. Andre Bishop, even more adversity for him to overcome here. Now, some blood coming from his mouth. Andre Bishop is damaging himself every time he throws that right hand. He is in serious pain. Finish with the hook. Jeez. An interesting footnote to what we're seeing here tonight with Andre Bishop. We showed you the replay earlier where it appeared that he hurt his right hand in the first round. The word we're getting is that those in the know say he actually had injured that hand during his prison stay. Meldrick Johnson's on the bad end of a big hook upstairs. This is one of the most impressive, gutsy displays we've ever seen out of Andre Bishop. It is absolutely certain to me now that he hurt that right hand. He's completely a one-armed fighter right now, just utilizing that left against Meldrick Johnson. Johnson's going well with the hook on the inside again, but Teddy, I'm looking at it saying, I can't believe nothing's coming back at him. There's got to be the opportunity there to counter that, right? There is an Oh, he is stunned. He could go down. Johnson's stunned, and he cannot block this onslaught. Andre Bishop's able to land a good, solid left hand. Targeting each other, the exchange was something special. What a nice combo by Andre Bishop. He's showing what a skilled fighter he is with this counter punching. Bishop could really use a pit stop here. He needs to refuel. Yeah, he needs to tie up a little bit. And now another left. He brings an uppercut that really does damage there. Bishop's showing you that sublime skill right now with that two-punch combo. Look at that! The hook came home with ease. Count down the final moments of this round. Solid hook upstairs. That cut that opened up earlier, it is progressively becoming worse. Trainer Gus Carissi's just trying to give his fighter a chance at this point. Yeah, they haven't stopped the bleeding. Now, you could be critical of the cut, man, that it's still flowing from that cut, but certain guys bleed more than others. They just do, and Bishop is one of those guys. Good block by Johnson. Johnson's dealing with the aftermath of being rocked, but yet he hasn't changed anything. He's still sticking with that style. Well, that means panic has just ate a big uppercut. He's in bad shape. Johnson's the target of a hook. Andre Bishop's in that position that nobody likes to be in, seeing your own blood and knowing you've been cut. Look at his mouth. Right to the head with that right. Good double jab by Andre Bishop. Teddy, you saw that coming. You said he was waiting for that. Yeah, what he was doing was he was just pulling that shoulder back a little bit, trying to throw that right hand, pull that shoulder back, be a ghost a little bit, disappear on him, come back with the right hand. Finish with the hook. Scored well up top. 
Johnson's cut is clearly in the area of his mouth. You can see he blood coming from his mouth. That's and an excellent counter saying. punch by Keep Andre moving. Bishop. Keep moving. Good job with another left hand. Pace yourself. He has his target. He lands a straight right. Andre Bishop so dangerous with that accuracy. A two-punch combination landing. Accurate uppercut after taking a shot of his own. And there's the left hand working well for him again. Johnson's tagged by a hook. Dismisses his opponent's headshot. Here's one for you now, he says. Right back with the left hand. Deep breath now. Deep Andre breath. Bishop returns Relax. to trainer Gus Carisi, and that was a great round Gus just saw from his charge. Bishop stunning his opponent. Yeah, well, Gus is going to probably remind him, the guy's hurt, he's going to be on survival mode. That means he's going to be using his legs, moving his head. That means he can go downstairs. Visit that basement. Bishop's applying an old axiom in sports, and that is speed kills. He's got plenty of it in the ring tonight. Yes, he does. It's going to be up to his opponent now to find a way to take away that speed, find something that can offset that speed. And I think that starts with controlling range. Get out of the range where he can control you, where he can use that speed. Andre Bishop, with only his left hand as his real weapon, just isn't landing it at all. Fine-looking right hand by Johnson. This is what Andre Bishop talked to us about. He said, if I could target any one punch, it's going to be that big hook. Well, hit the target that time. At the halfway point of round seven. He's committed to that left hand, and it's working out. And just looking to chop down his opponent. A forceful hook to the head by Andre Bishop. He's moving. Hits him in the mug with the right. Left and right. Left and right. Double jab Keep upstairs. Pushing. You got this one. Uppercut by Meldrick Johnson. <laughs> Johnson's inconsistencies are really showing up now. At times he has shown defense tonight. Other times, with what we've seen recently, he's getting hit just by the left like hand. That, yeah, what he had like to do that. is now make the adjustment. And this round comes to an end. When he goes up top, over the bottom, you got me? Andre, listen. Andre Bishop coming out for the final stanza of what has been a highly competitive, close fight. Too tough to call. That's a stinging right hand by Johnson. Bishop's doing well here with that two-punch combination. Relax, relax. He comes back with the left hand again. Hey, you got some of that too. Let's go. Left and right. Left Good and right. flush shot upstairs. You can see him timing that double jab to the head. Oh, and he's got something for him himself, and it's a left hand. one but gives one good work by Meldrick Johnson every time Andre Bishop throws that right hand he winces he is in serious pain really brought it that time a four punch combination how about a return to sender with the left hand Johnson's giving his opponent headaches here now he's throwing punches but he's able to block them away. And now he brings the left hand upstairs. Hey, 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 hey. 
We overheard the corner of Andre Bishop earlier saying to look for the uppercut. That time, he found it, he saw it, he gave it. Lance flush with the two-punch combo by Andre Bishop. Here's our ring announcer with the results of what was a very, very good fight. On behalf of my partner, Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore, and as always, I thank you for joining us with all the... Isaac, what do you think of Andre Bishop as a challenger? I think you're an idiot for asking me that question. You get paid to do this? Is this your first show? Challenger. I think it'll be a challenge not to kill Andre Bishop. Little Andre can't even throw a punch without breaking his hand. Those were Isaac Frost's words just a few short months ago after Andre Bishop apparently hurt his hand in a fight right here on ESPN. After only taking a short break to let the hand mend, Andre Bishop back in action tonight against heavyweight contender Reggie Stewart. Many are interested to see if the injury will have lingering effects on Bishop in what should be a very entertaining heavyweight matchup. Let's go back ringside to Joe and Teddy. Boardwalk Hall here in Atlantic City, the next stop for the heavyweight career of one Andre Bishop. How's it feel? Feels good. Feels real good. Good. Because you got to knock this guy out with him. It's time to show the world that Andre Bishop is as good as Neil. Boardwalk right, Hall right, here in Atlantic City, at the next time. stop for the heavyweight career of one Andre. He is And they are underway, round number one of this much anticipated scheduled eight round bout. Oh, a nice two punch combo by Andre Bishop. For those of you who question Andre Bishop's broken right hand, Here's a good example of how he feels about it. He's throwing it. What impact with that uppercut by Reggie Stewart. Little head hunting with the left. Finish with the hook. Finish good with the hook. fighting, on, snapping shot by Andre Bishop. You remember when Andre Bishop was a good, hard-charging middleweight prospect? He was a great combination puncher. That's what he's doing now as a heavyweight here. Nice block by Andre Bishop. Come on! Takes one, gives one. The right hand scores well. Halfway through round number one. The other day when we were talking to Andre Bishop, he said to have success in this fight, I have to land combinations. He landed a good one there. He's committed to the combination punching down. It's working out well up top. Stewart's a smart fighter, and in doing so, the smart thing to do for him would be to utilize his jab. He's got a good one. Yeah, and he's confident with it. See, it's one thing having a good one. You know how many people out there are good at certain things, but they don't have the confidence, they don't know it. He knows that he's good with it. That's the key. So many times you hear of an early round where they're just feeling each other out. No way. Not these guys. Straight to action. Well, if they can keep this up, they're both going to have headaches, but we're going to have a special one on our hands. Scoring with the right hand by Andre Bishop. Ten seconds to go in this round. He took a shot, but he came back with a right hand of his own. All right. Here we go. Round two is underway. Keep moving. A snapping combination by Stewart. Oh, that's good stuff. Fire it right back with one of his own. Good work by Reggie Stewart. I hope Reggie Stewart didn't think Andre Bishop wasn't going to throw that right hand. He has no qualms about letting it go. Takes a step back, then the counterpunch by Andre Bishop. Very similar to what you see Floyd Mayweather do. You know, make a miss, pull that shoulder back, and then come right back with the counter. Right hand over the top, very accurate with it. Good clean shot, returning fire. Well done by Andre Bishop. 
Scored well with that straight left. Good flush shot by Stewart. Commits to the overhand right, and it serves him well. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. You see he comes over the top with that right hand, a real solid shot. Blocked by Stewart. Come on, Stewart's getting himself into the mix now, landing that left hand. That's okay. Again to the Let's melon. Go. Just 10 seconds to go here in the second round. Job, that man. right Let's hand go. over the top lands flush. Listen, I don't want to see you against the ropes. As soon as you... Good action here tonight. Both guys bringing their best, and both guys meeting each other stride for stride, punch for punch. Tough fight to score here as we're back underway. Bishop's got that one gift that we have seen win time and time again, and that is pure speed. He's got it every which way. Yeah, he's putting those punches together. There's one way that you have to combat speed, and that's not trying to match it, and that's controlling distance and using timing. That's what his opponent needs to do now. By sending more than one at him now, the combo to the head. Keep moving, keep moving. Come on now. That's what Andre Bishop wants to do right there. Land the right hand. Took a shot. Now he gives a left. And there's a right hand by Andre Bishop. And another. That's a good sign. A stinging uppercut by Reggie Stewart. Bishop's landing a combination here. That's what he does when he's at his very best. There he is on the inside, doing well. That's an impactful right hand by Andre Bishop. A well-timed hook by Stewart. Takes one, but gives one. Good work by Reggie Stewart. Good headshot by Andre Bishop. That's a damaging blow. Well, Andre Bishop wishes he could probably reel that one back in. Bishop missed badly on the power punch. Punches and bunches. Combination up top. Bishop's combination that was landed moments ago is a, one of those examples of what every trainer would really like to have, and that's a fighter with good hand speed. Yeah, and he's showing that right now. Now... Straight in the other corner, hopes he has a guy. That's a big flush punch landing on Andre Bishop. This is not the first time that Andre Bishop has been brought to this neighborhood. He has been shaken before. He will know what to do. There's another left hand from him. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Andre Bishop. How about that left hand? Right to the head with that right. He took a shot, but he gives one of his own. A left hand scores. Andre Bishop utilizing that right hand well. There's no doubt in my mind that it is fully healed. You know, Bishop's opponent has set a pretty good pace here tonight. And I don't think Bishop has reacted well to it. He's fading. Yeah, he's got his mouth open a little bit. There's two problems there. One, you're telling your opponent, I'm tired. The other is you have your mouth open. That's a loose joint now. And a power shot lands, and all of a sudden it turns the table. A little slow with that jab, and he got caught the right hand. See, Andre Bishop, that training really paid off. Just back to basics with the one, two, boom, boom. Well, I don't know if he's hip to the idea of becoming a counter puncher, but I get the sense you'd agree with it. Yeah, definitely. I mean, he's got the perfect platform, the perfect form for it. The guy's walking in right now, not moving his head much. He can time him, he can counter him. Scores with the combo to the head. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Hits him in the mug with the right. A 
Nice job doubling up the jab by Andre Bishop. Stewart's right hand working well that time. He scored well. Good job. It was sudden. It was fast. It was direct by Stewart. Look at that. Oh, this is going to be close. He may be able to survive the round, but he has gone down now. Well, we know he can get up. What we don't know is how steady he will be on those legs. Well, we know his personality. He's an offensive-minded fighter, and he has to control that right now. Right now, he has to think about defense. How about that? Big shot there. What a turn of events. What a turnaround. He scores his own knockdown after being knocked down earlier. And that's where scoring a knockdown hurts you sometimes because now you think you're just going to walk in and get it again. Well, he walked in. He did get it. He got it. You talk about putting an issue to rest. How about Andre Bishop scoring a knockout with the injured right hand? Isaac, which Bishop brother hits harder? Which Bishop brother hits harder? That's your question? I get these people. Well, neither one of them can punch like me. I can guarantee you that. But between the two of them? Well, I'd say little Andre hits harder. I mean, the jailbird's washed up now. I mean, he was a genuine contender. But the big baby. Well, the big baby has always been a pretender. Old-fashioned, meaningful heavyweight fight in Vegas. Glad you're with us. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas. Coming to you at the site of so many great heavyweight fights through the years. The Thomas and Mack Center. Tonight, Andre Bishop takes on Mike Cooper. This is going to be a challenge for both men, although Andre Bishop feels like Dwight Cooper landed flush. And trouble for Andre Bishop, as you can see the start of a cut over that right eye. He's in a bad spot, too, right in the corner where he could run right into the eye and pair his vision. Cooper trying to get away from Bishop's attack. Now we see that cut, and that's become a very inviting target. He has to make sure that he doesn't only see that cut, though, because he might get a little over-anxious, get a little heavy only on that side. Great combination from Bishop. Teddy with a power puncher against a high stamina fighter, a guy that can take you into the deeper rounds. How much is it a disadvantage where it sort of takes away what maybe he's best at? Well, it's a disadvantage mentally because if his power doesn't work and the high endurance guy is still there, he may start to dissipate. He may start evaporating right in front of you. It's okay. Pay him back. Bishop able to land solidly against Cooper. Locks that punch. The trainer of Andre Bishop was talking about the fact that, hey, this is a different beast fighting in the heavyweight division. He wants him to block some of these big blows. Dwight Cooper has a real big chance here. He has a very attractive target in the form of that cut over Andre Bishop's right eye. It's starting to bleed badly. Now we're going to see a part of this fighter we've never seen before. You know, he's been tested in other ways. We know he has a pretty good chin. He's handled certain kinds of adversity, but he's never been cut before. Now we're going to see whether or not he panics. Does he handle this moment? On, Keep moving around the ring. There's Cooper putting out that jab. You can see the trouble that Bishop has had with it. Good block. And he ties up on the inside. 
Bishop's right hand scores well. Able to get away from that headshot with the block. Now that looks like a middleweight fighting a heavyweight there. Look at the hand speed from Bishop. And that's exactly the advantage he was going to need coming into this fight to beat the bigger man. And now just wasting everybody's time holding on. Let's move! A well-placed left hand up top. That's a good job by Bishop offensively. Landing his combinations is a key to victory tonight. You can see Andre Bishop now is employing a lot of defense. He has those hands up high trying to protect that cut eye. Very accurate two-punch combo by Andre Bishop. Bishop snapping that jab. Now you gotta breathe. Just breathe. Relax. How you feeling out there? Now you're not... And round number three is underway. Double jab by Andre Bishop. Zones in on that overhand right. Keeps his hands up defensively, protecting the head. See, this is exactly what Andre Bishop's corner has been telling him. You gotta keep those hands up. You have to protect that cut. He cannot allow Cooper to have a target to go after. There he goes with the right hand again. Cooper's on the bad end of a very impressive hook up top. Good jab by Cooper. Good scoring shot. It was a straight right. Andre Bishop's work in training camp is now paying off. Do you see the accuracy and the effectiveness with that combination? Doing what you do. One, two jabs up top. To the head he goes with a left hand. I like the angle that Andre Bishop just gave us right there. His opponent didn't like the result. He just ate an uppercut. It's one thing for the corner of Andre Bishop to tend to that cut between rounds, but Bishop himself has to protect it, and he's doing a good job of blocking punches that are targeting it from Cooper. He gets off with a combination up top. Able to show you his blocking ability. Very good, productive round from Andre Bishop. He can build off of that. Yes, he can. And he will build off of it because you can see his confidence is mounting round by round. A well-placed, gutsy uppercut after being tagged. Bishop's not skipping a beat. He came out just the way he finished up last round. Yeah, what I like is that he's a thinking man fighter, and his corner gave him probably good advice. They know that the opponent only had 60 seconds to recover, and they're figuring it wasn't enough time. Cooper's not throwing the power punches, Teddy. What would you say to him? Well, first of all, I would say to him, what do you think, that he's going to make a deal with you? If you don't hit him hard, he won't hit you hard? No, no, it doesn't work like that, my friend. He's going to get confidence now. He's going to take advantage of this. Hey, if you can throw them all, you may just land them all, and he does with that four-punch combination. Halfway through round number four. Bishop now utilizing that jab against Cooper.
Peppers again on the receiving side of an uppercut. Pulls the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. Teddy, he did a smart thing right there. Just created enough space and then landed the counter punch. Looked like the will of the wisps, the old great Willie Pep. Made him miss, made him pay. He returns the favor with a right hand of his own. And not one, but two. Good work with the jab up top. This is a real concern now for Andre Bishop as Dwight Cooper is landing punch after punch against that cut eye. He could get a TKO victory here if that continues. Bishop could really use a pit stop here. He needs to refuel. Yeah, he needs to tie up a little bit. Combination to the head. He digs in with an uppercut after blocking that shot away. That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the work by Andre Bishop. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. You see the accuracy now with that double jab up top. Nice. Nice. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round. Committing up top now, he goes there again. Worth the five. Blocks away that headshot. Back and forth they go, each man getting the best of it. His opponent wanted the body, he wouldn't give it to him. Very nice work with the double jab up top. Very accurate with the overhand right. Cooper's cut is really a mess right now, and it could jeopardize this fight for him right here. Teddy, is there blame that needs to be placed on his cut man? Could he have done more? Well, really, the trick to being a cut man is pretty simple. It's not rocket science. You have to have the right medicines, the right coagulants. You have to be calm. You have to be able to put pressure on that cut, get it to stop, and then put those medicines in. But you need a you little help from your fighter. You need him to move a little bit on his bike and give those medicines time to work. Carries that punch away. Snapping jabs by Andre Bishop. Cooper's doing exactly what you should to be a strong defensive fighter. You gotta block those punches away. Relax, relax. Right back to it to the head. Able to block that away, it was targeted for his head. Reaching the halfway point of round number six. A solid, true uppercut by Cooper. Cooper's doing damage on the inside with the uppercut here. Yeah, but he's got to be careful he don't go to the well once too often because, and he's got to be careful that he stays true to his technique because if he drops that hand for the uppercut just a little bit, there's going to be an opening for his opponent to counter him. Well timed by Andre Bishop. He took a step back, landed the counter punch. Exactly what he wanted to do. Keeping him honest with a double jab up top. Circle! Circle! Oh, he turns it over right into a hook. Listen up. This is what... 
And we are back underway, another round in a fight that's been very entertaining, but I wouldn't want to be a judge. This is one of those fights that could go either way. Good looking right hand after he got hit. Took a shot, now he gives a left. Hey, 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 let's go! Gets rid of that, it was intended for his head. Takes one to give one. Uppercut in return. Halfway through the seventh round. Doubles up the jab. Able to dismiss it. And he just turns that hook up top and it does damage. Right back to it upstairs. What have you been doing? Get shot. Blocks the headshot. Cooper's left now getting into the mix. Coming towards the end of the seventh round, 10 seconds to go. Oh, and what impact with those double uppercuts by Andre Bishop. All right, you look great. Good action throughout. We'll see if it keeps up in this round of what has been a very even fight. Bishop's the kind of boxer that wants to do just that. Find the target, get the combination working, land both punches. One, two, side to side. Double jab right to the face. Let's go. Punch! Punch! Good defense upstairs to stay away from that offensive assault. Andre Bishop's throwing a lot of punches right here, but not a lot of them are landing. And that can be very discouraging to the guy who's throwing them because he's working, but he's starting to get a little frustrated, a little concerned that he's not doing damage, as you said. 90 seconds to go, halfway through round eight. Combo lands to the head. Nice jabs there by Andre Bishop. Oh, what a big hook to the head by Cooper. Good job on the two-punch combo by Andre Bishop. And round eight comes to an end. Keep your head moving. Right back to the work up top. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by Cooper. Well, supposed to be fighting, but instead he's hugging. Bishop's defense is now serving him well. Nice job blocking that punch. Nice strike after catching one by Andre Bishop. Doubling up the jab by Andre Bishop. 
Cooper's defense is paying off now. Bang the body. Able to time that left hand and score with it. There's the headshot, but he parries it away. Oh, that's good stuff. Fire it right back with one of his own. Good work by Cooper. Here's one for you now, he says. Right back with the left hand. Good combination to the head. Good clean shot, returning fire. Well done by Cooper. Final chance, last 10 seconds of round nine. Nice work, the left hand to the head. You get the sense, and I think Andre Bishop knows it as well, that in this final round, the fight will be determined, Teddy. What is inside of him? We're about to see. And it's a left hand. A little double jab to the head. Halfway through this tenth and final round. Parries that punch intended for the head. Protecting his head well with his guard. Final minute of the final round. Targeting that midsection now with the combo. Had a boy. Now he ties up there. And they will bring it home in the last 10 seconds of this final round. Wow, what an uppercut. We said it early on, stylistically with this matchup, hardly a chance that we would go to the judges' scorecards, but Teddy, that's exactly what's about to happen. Yeah, early on, you're right, it looked like it was going to be an explosion, but fizzled out a little bit. Here we are. DL has agreed to a fight between you and Kobe Nichols. If we beat Nichols, we'll be in the top 10. What are the conditions? He says there aren't any. There's always conditions with DL. I'm sure we'll find out what they are, but we really need this fight. And a comebacking former middleweight prospect as Kobe Nichols takes on Andre Bishop. Teddy, who would have thought Andre Bishop would have an opportunity like this? Well, you know they say, Joe, good things come to those who wait. Good things come to those who overcome. He has overcome, he has waited, and he has his moments. Bishop's ring walks have been known as circus spectacular. But yet, with all that, to him, it's a moment of extreme attention. Nichols is making his way to the ring. You wouldn't know he's about to step into a fight. He looks like he's just out for a stroll. Come on, 
Something about an unbeaten fighter, as is the case with Andre Bishop. Start of round number one against Kobe Nichols. Bishop just doesn't know how to lose. Nichols is going to try to change that tonight. Oh, that's a good hook to the body. You remember when Andre Bishop was a good, hard-charging middleweight prospect? He was a great combination puncher. That's what he's doing now as a heavyweight here. Teddy, there are so many advantages for the well-rounded fighter, the balanced fighter up against the power puncher. But what are the advantages for the power puncher, if any? Well, the one great advantage is he can pull it out of the fire at any moment. You know, usually the power puncher Keep it clean, can and guys. will make mistakes. If the good boxer makes one mistake, his night might be over. Nice solid left hand scored by Kobe Nichols. And now he scores well with a straight right. That's the kind of officious refereeing that can cost a fighter a bout. The ref is saying that was a low blow and taking a point away from Andre Bishop. Watch the low blow. You got this. You got this. Bishop there landing the left hand. What impact from that uppercut by Andre Bishop. Up top with the right hand. And that's the... The shots were low, guys. I know, kid, I know. McQueen's got this referee in his pocket. That's his condition for giving me this fight. I lose. No, ain't gonna happen. That's right, kid. You're going to wear this guy out, okay? Keep moving. Keep that jab in his face. Counter upstairs when he opens up the punch. Do not go to the body. Upstairs, you got it? I got it. Stay upstairs. Here we go. Round two is underway. Side to side. Great, the coach is high. Keep it clean, guys. The other day when we were talking to Andre Bishop, he said to have success in this fight, I have to land combinations. He landed a good one there. Double jab upstairs. Takes one, but gives one. Good work by Andre Bishop. Solid left hand to the head. Good fighting, snapping shot by Kobe Nichols. Really a lot of consistency from him with the right hand. Took a shot, now he gives a left. Good job, it was sudden, it was fast, it was direct by Andre Bishop. Andre Bishop getting to his opponent's head. Nice job by Bishop with the power shot. A head shot blocked. Goes up top with the right hand. Shot. Now he gives a left. Nichols is on the receiving end of a hook. 
What will Andre Bishop do now to think that this fight could have turned on a referee's decision? Two times point deductions early in this fight for what appeared to be perfectly fine body shots turned Pace low blows. Shot. Keep moving. Bishop's picking up right where he left off. Remember how he finished that last round? Yeah, he really finished strong, really fast. And you know what? This is a thinking man's fight. I know a lot of people are going to say, Teddy's just an aggressive fighter. No, he understands and his corner understands that his opponent only had 60 seconds to recover, and they're jumping on him, figuring that their opponent hasn't recovered. That's a fierce left hand that landed by Andre Bishop. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Andre Bishop. That is exactly what the corner wanted to see. A good combination punch by Andre Bishop. Teddy, I don't think he's got visions of sticking around too long. He's landing power punches early. Yeah, he wants to make it a quick night's work. Oh, a big shot. A big shot comes home for him. And he walked right into it. Keep it clean, guys. It's and doing now great. he brings the left hand upstairs. Come on, kid, focus. And an excellent uppercut by Kobe cover Nichols. Up, cover up. I like that two-punch combo by Andre Bishop. It's all right. Keep moving. Keep moving. Keep moving. That's a big hook by Andre Bishop that time. His opponent felt it. Nichols' mouth is bleeding badly. Keep it That's clean, a guys. Forceful two punch combo by Andre Bishop. Keep your punches Unload. high. Low, more punches. How about a return to sender with the left hand? So the big story of the night and has greatly shaped this fight. The low blow point deductions, which what appeared to be poor refereeing early on against Andre Bishop. He's tried to go upstairs to the head, but he hasn't found his target. He's out of sorts tonight against Kobe Nichols. getting rid of his opponent's offense. And a well-targeted combination by Andre Bishop. That is a big shot. Andre Bishop is on shaky legs. And you know what's going to hurt him now, Joe? He's such a cocky fighter, such an offensive minor fighter. He doesn't know how to tie up. That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Got to love the word by Kobe Nichols. Bishop's opponent is having a field day, Teddy. That left hand lands again. Well, he keeps moving the wrong direction. He needs to move away from that punch. And he just holds on there. See him timing that double jab to the head. Keep it going oh, down. What an impact that left hand just made by Andre Bishop. Keep it going. Doubling up the jab now. Nichols is left, landing well. And the round comes to an end. You need to create more time. So a fresh round is underway, but is it a fresh fighter? Bishop's corner is hoping so. Based on what we saw at the end of the last round, who knows? Well, his corner should also be hoping that his opponent across the way doesn't come out here like the executioner to get this over with, because if he does, I think it's over. Oh, good exchange there. A big hook to the head by Andre Bishop. Finish with the hook. 
Do you see any way in which he can take his opponent's aggression and turn it against him? Yeah, the perfect way. I mean, boxing one-on-one, counter-punching. You got a guy coming at you, no better way than to change his mind. Make him miss, make him pay. Pace yourself. And now Come targeting on. his opponent with the overhand right. Keep it clear now. And you can see he wanted to do that as he holds on there. Bishop could really use a pit stop here. He needs to refuel. Yeah, he needs to tie up a little bit. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by Andre high. Bishop. Nice job snapping those jabs by Andre Bishop. Nice strike after catching one by Kobe Nichols. And he engages in the clinch. Targeting that head with the combination punching. Well targeted right hand by enough. Nichols. Move. Defense. An accurate More left defense. by Andre Bishop. Scored well up top. Good accurate hook by Andre Bishop. <laughs> Nichols has got to be feeling the sting of that big powerful hook. Start of this round, start to the second half of this fight. First half of this fight, he completely dominated the action, Teddy. Yeah, but you know what? It's kind of like they said in that movie, The Gambler. You know, they don't pay off at halftime. Yeah, remember remember the guy wanted to win his bet? Well, same thing. He's got another half of the fight. Can he be consistent? Can he keep his concentration? Can he keep doing what he's been doing? Bishop's throwing wide punches. If I'm standing opposite of that, I Good jump job, off. Yeah, well, Let's if go. you're the fighter, that's where you have to be kind of like into a Kodak moment, where you take a picture and you say, okay, I remember that, and the next time, bang, I'm gonna take advantage. Good right hand. The combo lands upstairs. A well-placed overhand right. Scores up top with a left. Good shot to the head with that right hand. Andre Bishop showing you that sublime skill right now with that two-punch combo. Good solid right hand by Nichols. And now he's targeting upstairs. Wow, just like the old timers, a four punch combination. Bishop's objective is to land that jab, and he did so right. Oh! And he is down. He is down for the first time tonight. Showing you what he is made of, getting up off the canvas after being knocked down. <laughs> Gus Carisi endorsing his charge, Andre Bishop, telling him that's exactly what we work on in the gym. They scored a beautiful knockdown in that last round. Yeah, they did. Joe, I'm not shocked they scored the knockdown because Bishop has power. He's capable of doing that. What I'm really impressed by is how he did it. He set it up beautifully. Used that jab, and then right off that jab, the right hand where he never saw it coming. Nichols is sticking to his game plan, regardless of the fact that he's been down in this fight. Yeah, the one friend you could compliment him for, Joe, you could say he, he understands who he is, he understands his identity, he's going to win or lose with that. But on the other hand, there are some changes he has to be aware of. Nice work on the right hand by Kobe Nichols. Nichols is very much being tested here, even though he's likely up on the scorecards. He's getting a real test. Yeah, Joe, a test that will serve him in the future. If he goes on to win this fight, which I think he will, 
He's going to take what he gained here today, what he gained here today, and it's going to serve him as he moves forward in his career. Teddy, I think he's going to go down. I think he's going to go down after getting tagged What's right the there. Fun? He doesn't know where to go. I mean, he's like a guy that's caught in a hailstorm. He's trying to get to the other side of the street, but he just doesn't know where it is now. Well placed, straight right hand. Well, something's got to stick. He sends the combination to the body. Oh, a good right hand by Nichols. He's jumping all over him now. Nichols is nailed by that shot. Absolutely rocked. He could go Relax. down here, Teddy. Relax. Keep your distance. Oh, that's good stuff. Fire is right back. Now, I've called a lot of fights in my day, and that's the first time I've ever seen two clean body shots called low blows and point deductions by the referee. What in the world is going on here? And that's the end of round seven. Back to live action now in what has been a closely contested fight. One of those fights that somebody is still waiting to break through and be a difference maker in. Nichols is easily winning this fight just based on his hand and foot speed. He's getting in and out with ease. And what his opponent needs to do is control range so he gets it down to where his opponent is shadow boxing. Yeah, he's got fast hands, but it doesn't matter if you're not standing in front of him to use him. Right now, he's standing in the wrong place. What an excellent two-punch combo by Nichols. Unable to steady himself right now after being stunned. Fine work with the left hand. He landed well by Nichols. Good plus shot upstairs. Comes right back at him with the left hand. Good clean shot returning fire. Well done by Kobe Nichols. is just being swarmed. He just got stunned. He got absolutely nailed. Takes one, but gets one. Good work by Andre Bishop. A great train uppercut by Kobe Nichols. What an uppercut by Andre Bishop. And you can see the effect that these point deductions are having on Andre Bishop as he's just throwing to the head now. Still not moving on Move! Oh boy, he is stunned badly. He is staggered and hurt and could go down. Teddy, what do you got to be yelling for encouragement if you're the corner? Well, if it was a baseball game, I'd be yelling for rain. <laughs> right now, I, I want this stop. But what he has to really get is a way to clinch. And that's the end of round eight. Back underway here to live fight action. Tough fight to score. Very, very even, closely contested bout throughout. He got hit. Oh, now the uppercut. Good doubling up on the jab by Andre Bishop. Punch! Punch! Doubles up the jab to the head. Oh, what kind of punching is this? I mean, he's got nothing on these shots. He's so hurt. You know, his natural instinct is to attack back. Right now, he's got to fight against that natural instinct. Right now, teaching has to come in. You know, instructions from the past where he just covers up and he survives. Well-placed, well-timed combo up top. What a good, strong uppercut by Kobe Nichols. Nichols has got a real acquired skill here, and that is the ability to pick your shots and land them. So you hear the saying when people say, do you know what time it is? You have to know what time it is. He knows what time it is. He knows when to throw a certain punch. Committing upstairs now. He goes there again.
Eagles is in a tough spot here. He could go down with that bad defense. Well, we've seen this time and time again. Trainer Gus Carisi trying to tell Andre Bishop what to do. The problem is, Andre Bishop hasn't done it. He's trailing in this fight. Now, you can lead a horse to water, but of course you can't make him drink. But it's also up to the trainer to get him into the right frame of mind. Help him get into the right frame of mind so he can think right. He can hear what he's saying. Quick snapping hook, and it does damage. Nichols' his legs can't fail him now. Oh, my, is he taking damage. Oh, he just ate a big uppercut right there. Solid. This is going to take some guts to get up from this. Once again, he goes down. but he's gonna continue on, beating the count. Send it up to the ring. On behalf of Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore saying thanks for being with us for some great action ringside. Andre, I know you don't want to fight your brother, but I remind you this meeting was not my idea. It was Raymond's. I need this fight, Dre. The public has doubts about who deserves to fight for the title, me or you. You stole your brother's thunder, Andre. Man, I didn't steal anything. It's not about that. I've been Big Baby Bishop ever since you won the gold medal. I never had a chance to be anything else. Never even had a chance to be my own man. Sorry, Raymond. I, I didn't mean to... As my brother, you owe me the chance to prove myself. Brian Kenny back here in our Friday Night Fight studios. Andre Bishop's latest win over top contender Kobe Nichols puts him squarely in the heavyweight title picture. After years of dominance by the champion Isaac Frost, we now have a situation where both Bishop brothers are considered legitimate challengers for the title. The surprising news from the offices of promoter D.L. McQueen this week is that the Bishop brothers have signed to fight each other, a heavyweight eliminator that's already being billed as sibling rivalry. The winner will earn the right to face Frost in what could be the biggest championship fight in decades. The MGM Grand here in Las Vegas, site to one of the most unique fights that we've ever brought you. Brother against brother, a strange and at odds, now against each other. As the older brother, Andre Bishop, takes on his heavyweight contending younger brother, Raymond Bishop, in an eliminator fight. For the winner, a chance for the world champion and a date with Isaac Frost. Teddy sizes up. Well, Joe, it's not easy. Not only do you have to deal with blood, fighting your own blood, you have to deal with controlling your emotions, but you have to deal with the fact that both these fighters, both these brothers, know each other so well. They've sparred together. They've hung out together. They've been in the gym since they were kids. They know all the tendencies of each other. It's going to be like looking in the mirror. Only thing, this time you look in the mirror, 
You might not like what you're seeing. We went over the rules in the dressing room. Let's have a good, clean fight. Touch them up. Here we go. And here we go. Could you ever imagine this? We are underway. Two brothers facing off for a chance to fight for the heavyweight title. that time it was intended to the head he's had so much success throughout his career as Andre Bishop and the right hand's been a big part of it blocks that belt line well he took a shot but he gives one of his own a left hand scores Bishop's not just loading up he's landing combination punches like he did right there Good smooth work by Andre Bishop. That's classic counter punching. Yeah, what he did was he pulled that right shoulder back. You know, he just pulled it back, gave him the left shoulder, and then gave him the right hand. That's a good job by Bishop Ooh, offensively. Landing his combinations is a key to victory tonight. Andre Bishop's right hand did a nice job that time. That worked well for him. Look at that combination by Andre Bishop. Wow, a big flush blow, the left hand by Raymond Bishop. And the bell rings, signifying... What's going on, kid? You look like crap out there! I mean, let's pick it up, okay? He might be a little brother. He's got a big punch. And he's gonna put you on your ass if you're not careful. So let's get it together. Now! I've been Big Baby Bishop ever since you won the gold medal. I never had a chance to be anything else. Never even had a chance to be my own man. Here we go. Round two is underway. Wow, a big punch just crashes home on Andre Bishop. Wow! Andre Bishop is... One. Knock you out, big brother. <laughs> Brian Kenny back here on Friday Night Fights. A shocking turn of events in the battle between the Bishop brothers this past weekend as Raymond knocks out his older brother, Andre. Andre was unable to beat the count after a big right hand from Big Baby in the second round. The stage is now set for a heavyweight showdown between Raymond Bishop and the champion, Isaac Frost. Welcome to Las Vegas and the MGM Grand, where there is a great atmosphere for this heavyweight title fight. And why not? We have two of the best in the business going at it. As the young upstart, Raymond Bishop, who earned his title shot by knocking out his brother Andre, finds himself now opposite the world champion, Isaac Frost. Great anticipation here, great crowd. The reason why we have a great crowd, not just because you have two of the best, but you have two guys that have a style that almost guarantee that the fans are gonna enjoy it. Fireworks from Bishop and Frost are anticipated. Let's see how it works out. 
cross. So attentive when it comes to this moment here. This is where everything he's done, all the hard work he's put in, comes down to one singular moment of concentration. All right, fellas, let's have a good clean fight. Touch them up and let's go. Everybody, and we welcome you to the MGM Grand in Las Vegas, where the challenger, Raymond Bishop, will step up for the ultimate test, taking on the world champion, the pure power punching intimidator, Isaac Frost. Joe Bishop's mind has to be in Zaire, Africa. He has to duplicate what Ali did on that. Big, big shot comes crashing home. Maybe Bishop gets bored right there. Raymond Bishop went down from a power punch. His opponent just outgunned him. One, two, three, four, five. So he is able to get up to his feet after that knockdown. But Teddy, it's what's ahead that's the problem. Yeah, we're getting a peek right now into his heart, into his soul. Frost is so strong early on here. You see the aggression from the heavyweight champion against Baby Bishop. Teddy, talk to me about this matchup from a defensive side. When you have two speedy fighters back. situation has developed right. here. The paramedics man, are up. rushing into the ring. Come on, Ray, get up, man. Please, sir. Please, sir. Bishop is absolutely motionless. Give us some room, people. We need to work. Isaac, do you feel bad about what happened tonight? Do I feel bad? <laughs> no. <laughs> That's not how this works. This is called boxing. Have you... Let me do this. Listen, I'm not going to cry every time some clown gets hurt, right? Raymond Bishop knew the risks when he stepped into the ring with me. Maybe if he ever wakes up, I'll knock some sense into his stupid ass. Tell Dio he could have whatever he wants. Get me in the ring with Frost. I know emotions are running high right now, but in the heat of battle, people say things, uh, ugly things. That's all for now. Please. Tell Andre Bishop he doesn't have anything I want. Everybody wants this fight to happen. I don't. Candace, uh, could you send Franco to escort my daughter out? Good night, Megan. Good night, DL. Good night, Ms. McQueen. Franco, my father's letting you go down for setting up Andre Bishop. I don't know what you're talking about. You will. I'll show myself out. If I'm going down for the Bishop job, you're going with me. You gave the order. What the hell are you talking about? Your daughter just told me that I'm going down for setting up Bishop? How does she even know about that? Um, down. She doesn't know anything. Don't fuck with me, McQueen. Nobody can prove anything. It's your word against the next con. We're fine. I still don't like her sniffing around. 
Excuse me. I forgot my phone. If I'm going down for the bishop job, you're going with me. I believe Andre Bishop has something you want. Megan, you can't do this. Megan! Megan! I have to admit, I did not want this fight to happen. Even though both fighters wanted it. Even though the public wanted it. And even though I would have made a ridiculous amount from it, I did not want this fight to happen because I did not want to risk two tragedies happening to the same family. But we know Raymond Bishop, a fine boxer, a fine young man, is going to recover fully from his injuries. I am proud to announce E.L. McQueen Promotions is bringing you the fight the challenger has been demanding. The fight the champion has been demanding. The fight you have been demanding. Isaac Frost versus Andre Bishop for the heavyweight championship of the world. May the best man win. Good evening and we welcome you to Las Vegas for the heavyweight championship fight between Andre Bishop and Isaac Frost here at the MGM Grand. Isaac Frost, one of the best power-punching, intimidating champions we've seen in the grand history of the sport, not long ago laid an absolute beatdown on Raymond Bishop, Andre's little brother. Now tonight, Andre seeks revenge with emotions running high, Teddy. And that's the key word there, Joe, emotions. You know, this sport is about skills and wills, but it's also about emotion. And not the way that a lot of people think. You can't get mad and go out there and be a good fighter, be a champion. You have to control that. You get mad, your opponent takes advantage of that. This is a true test whether or not Bishop can control those red hot emotions. Isaac Frost got a target on his opponent from the moment he steps out of that locker room to every step he takes during this ring walk, you can see exactly what's in his scope. Introducing first, the challenger, fighting out of the blue corner, Andre Bishop. Okay, this is good, this is good. Any questions from the challenger? Any questions from the champion? Yeah, I got one. That's a little Raymond, though, I'm sorry. Okay, 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 break it up. I want to see a nice, clean fight. Touch up. This guy is a friggin' animal. Don't even try to win the first couple of rounds. Just survive. Let him tire himself out. Yeah, I got it. I mean it, kid! This guy's a friggin' animal! You seen what he done to Raymond? Use your feet. Keep your hands up. Stick around for a couple of rounds and he'll get frustrated. I guarantee you. I got it, Gus. intimidating heavyweight champion Isaac Frost and Andre Bishop. His brother Raymond didn't survive that first round. Oh, Bishop got battered right there. Bishop was absolutely battered right there. The one thing he's got to do is stay away from that right hand. Frost's power has been shown off early on in his fight. Teddy, what effect 
could his power have early in this fight? Well, if he catches his opponent, it could be an early night. But if he catches his opponent and his opponent survives it, guess what? It could be a long night, fam. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. See, the defense pays off as he gets rid of that downstairs. I think Bishop scored really well there. He just damaged his opponent with that power shot upstairs. You remember when Andre Bishop was a good, hard-charging middleweight prospect? He was a great combination puncher. That's what he's doing now as a heavyweight here. A solid right hand lands. Able to cover up that gut. He is not in... Wow! How will he overcome this? Bishop is down. Andre Bishop rises to his feet. But of course, Gus is experienced enough to know now when he gets back to the corner, he has a job to do. Not just dump cold water on him to revive him, but to tell him what he got hit with. Remove that fear a little bit from his mind that it will happen again. He can correct the mistake. When the dangerous power punching world champion Isaac Frost fought Raymond Bishop, Andre's younger brother, he had damaged him at this point of the fight. Not the case tonight as Andre is playing it safe. Well, I think what the case is tonight is Bishop learned from the mistakes of his younger brother. He's not making those mistakes. He's not standing in front of the bigger Frost too long. He's controlling his ego. He's keeping it all about business. Keep it up! Keep on. Able to Keep cover up along the belt line, blocks that one. Bishop's doing what happens to many who have been hurt. Now, he was stunned in this fight earlier, and you can see him almost wishing he could put a protective shell around himself. He's just all about the defense right now. Yeah, well, right now it's got to be all about him trying to be Tom Cruise. He's got to be an actor. He's got to look for an Academy Award and stop doing that. If we can see that, his opponent can see that. He has to count his opponent, not let him know that this is what he's feeling. Halfway through this round here. Getting back to basics, a good solid jab. Bishop is stunned. He just took a huge punch. And now he has to grab. He has to get in close and make sure that he kills some time. And that's the end. Good work, kid. Beautiful work. Like we talked about. He's slowing down a bit. So let's help him out a little. What do you say? I want you to go downstairs and give him some power shots now. I want you to chop that wood for three rounds. Got it? Knock the air out of his lungs. Three rounds. Power shots. Pound that body. You got it? I got it. Pound that body. Good man. Number three is underway. Well, there's one way to slow the champ. Andre Bishop with a stinging body shot to Isaac Not too close. Not Targeting too close. each other, the exchange was something special. Good stuff from Andre Bishop right here, going to the body. Good, consistent work rate to the body of Frost. A crushing two-punch combo by Andre Bishop. Body shot! Let's see some defense! Isaac Frost impressing the judges and himself with that right hand. Coming up.
upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round. Oh, you need to block more! One, two, one, two! his hands up, getting way of his opponent's effort. Come on, champ! Keep your distance! Right hand over the top, very accurate with it. Look at this, another power punch able to land. We're early on in this fight, he's going for it. Yeah, you wonder if he's got a call waiting outside. Ten Let's seconds go. to go Let's in this go. third round. And that's the end of round three. Here we go with the fourth round. Oh, what an uppercut. Targeting that belt line with the right hand. Oh, he's trying to slow you down. Watch the Took body. a shot. Now he gives a left. The other day when we were talking to Andre Bishop, he said to have success in this fight, I have to land combinations. He landed a good one there. Keep moving, champs. Just get moved, you motherfucker. with the left. Fourth round now with its last 10 Oosh. seconds. Oosh. Oosh. Okay. Take you know, Isaac left. Frost still has the look of a guy who's controlling this fight, but what we're seeing out of Andre Bishop right now, wow, a big punch just crashes home on Andre Bishop. The only good thing is he's been here before. With all that amateur experience, he has been hurt before. He knows how to Oh, and what an unfortunate circumstance for Andre Bishop. There is blood now coming from above his eye. His corner men are gonna need to get all over that. Bishop is getting into a real groove here. It's as if he's painted a Watch the body shot. Oh, keep your feet moving. Bishop able to land another body shot against Rome. He's throwing a lot of punches here. Now his opponent is showing very, very good movement. What adjustments can he make to deal with that movement? Well, Joe, when you're fighting a guy who's smart, who's hard to hit, first of all, you got to shorten those punches up. If they're wide, they have no chance at all. And you got to go to the one place that's not moving. Guess where that is? Downstairs. Halfway into round number five here. Oh, he is stunned. He could go down. Boy, he was hurt, but now he's gathered himself a bit. He falls victim to that big hook. Wow! Wow, Bishop is on the floor. And he's got to have the instinct of grabbing right now, not going right after the guy. Well, we know he can get up. What we don't know is how steady he will be on those legs. Well, we know his personality. He's an offensive-minded fighter, and he has to control that right now. Right now, he has to think about defense. Oh, 
Final 10 seconds of this fifth round. And that's the end. How bad is it, Gus? No, oh, it ain't pretty. But we can handle it. You gotta give us some time, Dre. Protect that eye. Don't let Frost touch it or the ref will stop this fight for sure. No way. Give us a couple of rounds. We'll get it under control. Don't let him mess it up. I got you. I got you. I want a little baking soda and vinegar matchup. You know what happens when you put those two things together? Yeah, you get a volcano and it's going to explode. And I think before the night's over, you're going to see that. Good solid uppercut from Isaac Frost, wasn't it? Well, his opponent is opening up and coming forward, so I would think there are some opportunities that exist. Yeah, I think some counter-punching opportunities. Opportunities not on the front end, but on the back end. He's pushing! Andre Bishop now a little more defensive-minded with that cut above the eye. He's trying to protect it, trying to make sure the big champ, the heavy-hitting Isaac Frost, can't get to it. and giving us anything to talk about right here, Teddy. He's not moving. He's not moving. He is damaged badly there. He may hit the floor. Hey, I know he's not in great shape, but he's doing a very good job now all of a sudden of defending himself. Teddy, the last thing you want to show a shark is blood in the water. Well, Andre Bishop has blood over his eye, and the shark is the heavyweight champion of the world. It could work both ways, though, Joe, and that's what Bishop is hoping for. It could get your opponent to get over anxious. Look to zero in on that. You know, X marks the spot. Looking to land a big shot, and then Bishop, being a smaller guy, he can take advantage of that over aggression. He can outbox him, outsmart him. Left, rush, left. Right, that's it, just like that, just like that. Downstairs, upstairs, downstairs, upstairs. Keep popping the chair. Stop, stop. His opponent dazed and stunned. Isaac Frost lands a damaging blow to the head. Straight hook. No, 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 cover your head, kid. Oh, no, one, two, one, two. Halfway through the seventh round. Keep your hands up. Oh, like big, big Loose. uppercut from Isaac Frost, who's a big, big man. Frost Loose. really got a way about him when it comes to his footwork, his movement. It's serving him very well defensively. Yes, it is. He's controlling range. He's controlling distance. He's keeping his opponent where he wants him. Back to the head. Back to the head, champ. Come on, kid. Focus. Upstairs, downstairs, upstairs, upstairs. Hands up. Ten Keep seconds to go in the seventh. There you go. 
Hey! Quit playing around with him and put that bastard away! Okay, nice work out there, kid. Looking good. Bleeding's under control. You know, that could have helped us out a little bit. I mean, he's even more tired now. He spent a lot of energy trying to take you out. Yeah? Still seems like he's got a bit left. Yeah? Well, you got more. You got more energy. You got more power. And you got more heart. God, you got more heart than any other fighter I've ever known. Now, you turn it up. You take the fight to that fucker and he won't know what hit him. This is your fight now, Andre. Take it to him. That's all you had to say, Gus. Round eight is underway. is right now uncomfortable with the pace that's being set this fight. Well, he started the pace. See, that's the funny thing about it. He set it, but he might not be able to keep it up. Watch the hook! Walking in a little bit. Now he has a chance to start to chuck something back at him. The other day when we were talking to Andre Bishop, he said to have success in this fight, I have to land. Andre Bishop looking good right here. Andre Bishop is now consistently landing a stinging blow. And Frost goes down. Frost has never been down. The heavyweight champion of the world is on the canvas. Can he beat the count? Frost trying to get up. He goes down again. It's all over. It's all over. There's a new heavyweight champion of the world, and his name is Andre Bishop. Hey up, bitches. I knew you could do it, Andre. I'm proud of you. I hope we can work together now. Oh, I'd love to, Mr. McKay. But you might have some problems running things from the pit. Hey. We had a deal. You gave me your work. She didn't give you my work. You had no idea who you were fucking with. Deal! You better get me out of this! Hey! You better... Deal! Deal! 